Why, hello everyone, and welcome to another Link to the Past interactive race. My name is Sakura Subasa, and joining me today, of course, is the fantastic Big John. Oh, stop, please. <laughs> all that. How are you all doing? What's going on, Sakura? How are you doing today? I am doing absolutely fantastic, and I'm going to be even more fantastic once this race starts. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am so hyped for this. Uh, if you all have never seen one of these Link to the Past randomizer interactive races, boy, you are in for a fantastic evening, morning, whatever time it is. This is some of the best stuff on Twitch right here, and uh, I can't wait for it to start. Yeah, me too. So... A good question, I guess, to start off with is, what is an interactive race? And so an interactive race is basically uh, you, as the chat, are able to influence what happens in this race. You can pull these or you can always support your favorite effects. I mean, we're talking about not just the randomizer itself they got to deal with, they have to deal with the trolliness or the love that you all provide to the players. Maybe you want to be nice and help them out in their time of need, or maybe you just want to body them in their time of need. You can do both of those things and, you know, totally make one player have a wonderful time or totally have a player have a miserable life experience. Oh, oh, here we go. Here we go. And we're off. We and the are. first chest is 20 rupees. And of course, you all could take that money from him right now if you wanted to. But, uh, you're not that mean. <clears throat> so here we go. We're off. And of course, it is the randomizer. Uh, what mode are they doing? We're doing open normal mode. We're doing normal. We are do yeah, we're doing uh, open on normal difficulty. And right. it's, of course, randomized swords. There so you go. Not guaranteed to find a sword. At oh, the oh. <laughs> it just increased their bank balance a little bit. Uh, oh. Also, uh, <laughs> Grand Pooh Bear, not uh, starting his timer. He has an internal clock here, you know. <laughs> when he got rid of his legs, he has this built-in internal timer, so he doesn't need that anymore. <clears throat> so lots of lots of rupees to start off with, but Yeah, that's that's pretty much it so far. Yeah, we can't do nothing with just money alone. And uh, it is definitely a randomizer. This is not a plandomizer. And uh, they're just pausing here while we make sure that uh, the bot is working. Just remember that the uh, the bot no longer the bot no longer types in chat when you get your your free things. So keep that in mind. It sends it into your balance, and then you go from there. So, uh, so we'll we'll kindly ask Chat uh, to to give the bot about ten seconds to initialize. Also, GG to Grand Pooh Bear's new sub. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> that is a super cute. Uh, sub alert. You all need to get him for that. He, he knows better. He knows better. Is there an option for invisible sprite altogether? There, you know what? If the, if the, uh, players would like it to be, yes. Uh, so basically when, when you are... Oh, nice. Grand Pooh Bear has started his timer. <laughs> He's so thoughtful. Uh, but yeah, well, players are able to select five sprites that they want to be. So, um, one of the more common trolley ones, of course, is the invisible sprite. Yeah, that 
That's the one I think I would totally use, but I sure wouldn't choose it for myself. I don't know how these chat memories like to get. All right, so if you've if you've gotten your your free credit already, then uh, you don't need to type it again so that we break the bot. All right, so looks like the bot is initialized, mm-hmm. and we are syncing up our timers a couple seconds at a time, <laughs> or one second at a time, I guess. Yeah, I tell you. Who causing problems here? But it's all good, man. We love them both. There we go. Alright, so it looks like the I think the bot is still functioning. <laughs> like this is this is this is what happens when you get free things. Goes crazy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, this is this is gonna be interesting. Also, uh, I love how the bottom of Grand Pooh Bears says "Who text test." <laughs> I tell you. I hope he turn his turn his layout to actually show what's going on there. Maybe it's going to be different. I'm not sure. All right. So it looks like we're we're starting the fundings. So we'll sort of grades and stuff like that. If you've if you've gotten your free credit, let's try not to spam the free command. <laughs> this poor bot. You know, I kind of imagine. So I kind of imagined. <laughs> Car cat just sitting at the computer trying to fix the bot. <laughs> I feel so bad. Oh, nice! Somebody sent five bombs. Fantastic. Oh yeah. GG. I think everybody will have their. Wait, I haven't gotten my free bits. So. I haven't got one. What mine? <laughs> what my it? chance to? Oh wait, I don't think I can do that. Is it? I, I have to give them both the same as that equal treatment, right? That wouldn't be right. Well, I mean, last time I commentated, I was definitely being like, "Yeah, let's totally not, you know, give everybody the uh, the one hit KO." And then in chat was like command one hit KO give to like, some player. It's great. It's funny. But it's like, you know, gotta be fair. Give one yeah. to one. Give it to the other. So. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's absolute mayhem. Let's see here. Alright, so it looks like the effects are going, so we are gonna be going. Oh my goodness, what have they done? Something to do with Harold sent three bombs. Alright, so we got some sprites now. We got <clears throat> some sprites missing no as the top sprite for Dragon Feeny and Dark Link for Grand Pooh Bear. Oh, that's what that is. I was like, is it gl- I didn't know what that was. <laughs> I didn't even follow stuff more often. I'm too busy missing- stuck on Mario. You don't know what Missing No is? Is that a Pokemon or something? It's a Pokemon. <laughs> I mean, if anything I know, that if I don't know what it is, I'm assuming it's a Pokemon. I don't know all 5,000. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> yeah, so... missing no is a glitch in uh, the original Pokemon games. Fun fact. There you go. I think I've only seen that theme from like Bashi and had no idea where it came from. <laughs> now I know. Now I so, know. So, so Grand Pooh Bear spent all that time singing up his timer. Only for it to disappear. It, uh, see? <laughs> That's why you don't trust you just don't trust him. He ain't got no legs. You don't trust him. <laughs> but you're good, man. It'll, it'll be alright. So, so we've got uh, both players have three bombs. And wow, look at there. A little reflective action already. Finding the mirror in the Lost Woods. At least, uh, like Lost and Found. Hey. Hopefully that'll be, uh, it would be put to use soon. We don't know. It's a lot of money and mirrors right now. Money and mirrors, yep. Got 50, 50 rupees pretty much for both players. They need 100 rupees for the bottle vendor, so probably gonna find some in Kakariko. I'd be shocked if they didn't have 100 rupees by the time they finished Kakariko. Mm -hmm. All right, so looks like Pooh's gonna be the first one to see what's down there and uh, yeah. arrows, a little more money. Even more money. Might have that 100 already. So we're going to have that 100 of these blues. And there we go. Got 100 rupees now for Grand Pooh Bear. Boy, wouldn't it be a shame if he got to the bottle vendor and he didn't have 100 rupees anymore? I'm sure no one in chat would do that. Absolutely not. I was going <laughs> to send that bankrupt to him. <laughs> you also have to keep in mind, too, that... Um, there is a delay, so there's a delay between, of course, the the commentary and what you guys see. There's also a delay on their stream as well. So if you want the best trolley action, you also need to make sure to have the runner streams open as well so that you can see uh, when they're going to be picking things up. Yeah. So. Picking up, picking up. Um, we've got the cape and which rod was that? Was that the fire rod or was that ice? I think that was ice rod. A little hint of blue there. Alrighty. Well, the vendor giving a nice little 50% rebate there. Oop! <laughs> Grand Pooh Bear just throwing bombs in strange nice throw. places. <laughs> He's made up all his money back here. We don't have any weapons right now, so again, they might swing by, maybe buy some bombs. I only have three bombs. Yep, they do have enough rupees for bombs. 50, 50 rupees for a pack of 10 bombs. I mean, it'll all depend on how much uh, those last. So, yeah. <laughs> Grand Pooh Bear down 100 more rupees. So, going to, uh, <laughs> gonna need some for. Zora still. Yeah, I probably got a little ways before we even get there. Uh, yep. Them. I'm going to do a little <laughs> library check here. Hopefully not the anything the boots that we may need and eh, just a little piece of a heart. So, yeah. Nothing major. Nope. Pooh burn. going to check it out first. I want to waste that bomb. Yep. And... Finds nothing important. But yeah. we have we have Mini Moldorm Cave. In Mini Moldorm Cave, we've got the dam, got back into Hashalas, maybe going into uh, Hyrule Castle as well. There's a few things in there. Indeed. So typically, like in typical randomizer fashion, a very very similar route. You know, going around checking the town, heading down to check, um, check down in the Lightwell Swamp area, head to Mini Moldorm, maybe Ice Cave, depending on what you get. So, Fiend is uh, actually going to be picking up that heart piece. Mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah. but Grand Pooh Bear finding the silver arrows. And now you take it back from it. No, you can't take those. <laughs> nope, can't take silver arrows. 
But he still got to find him a boat to even take advantage of that. Very, very good item. Ooh, a bug net as well. Interesting. Yeah. Might see some swag in him. Man, I just noticed that it seems like uh, Pooh and uh, Dragon Fina are both broke right now. They have both spun bankrupt thanks to the chat. No money is for them. So Pooh's gonna get the first look inside of Mini Molder and Cave here. Again, okay, be careful with his bomb. He only has his only weapon here. Ooh, the crowd funded a sword for Grand Pooh Bear. Ain't that nice? And his, his last bomb, which does oh. contact. And he gets another bomb. That's lucky, a lucky very guy. nice drop. So here we go. Let's see what we got in here. So interactive race is this is a race that you all can participate in. What happens? You all can check out that link that you will see in the chat there, which gives you all the commands that you can use with your credits to do various features. Give them items, take away items, mess up their control scheme, um, armor, shield. You can group your things together to for, meta, for different effects or more expensive items like, say, inverting the D-pad for a full minute. And things like that. So check out that link and you can use those towards messing with the players that you love and admire so much, right? Yep. Man, speaking of love, someone sent 500 rupees to Feeny over there. That is definitely a very nice thing to get, especially right here. You're going to be able to hop into the... Uh, the water and Feeny also got unlimited bombs right now, but she's got to be really careful because oh, because oh, yep. she only had half a heart. Yeah, those are not going to be survivable there. But she does have some money though. Even Pooh's got a little money now. Grand Pooh Bear trying to set up the reverse fake flippers. He's a little bit too far down. There we go. Perfect. Nails it. But now Grand Pooh Bear is going to be short. He's going to be heading towards Zora area. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's not going to have enough rupees. It's up to you, chat. Do you guys want him to actually pick up the Zora item or not? <laughs> do you love him that much? Or do you just want to take everything he already has? Just bankrupt him again. Whereas meanwhile, Dragon Phoenix head over to the eastern area. To see who I call Sashara Hashala Hala which is perfectly pronunciated correctly. Let's see what's in that back wall there. Oh! Grand oh. Pooh Bear getting hit, unfortunately, on that way to Ice Rod Cave. Um, mm -mm -mm. Because he was fake flippered. It unfortunately yeah. takes that death. But Feeny picking up a sword inside uh, Sriracha Sauce's house here. Yes. So now those upgrades that, that were sent, like someone sent Pua upgrade and uh, take advantage of them. So, Pooh Bear looks like he's off to uh, Agina's cave. Yeah. And oh, boy. heading into Eastern. Mm hmm. While heading up there, getting jacks of money as well. Just <laughs> leaking rupees on the staircase. There. <laughs> He's got a hole in his pocket. I'm telling you. Somebody needs to give him some sewing lessons. I'll tell you. <laughs> these sprite, these instant sprite chains are fantastic. Oh yeah, they're fa they're absolutely fantastic. I can't wait. I really want to see the cocoa sprite. Yo, Feeny picking up the moon pearl. Yeah, we're looking pretty good now. Who knows though? I don't know. Gotta, you know, I, I, I don't know. For some reason, I just, I just have this desire to make this an Aga seed. I, I don't know what it is. Maybe just because the climb and more chances for people to help and troll the contestants. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Looks like uh, Pooh Bear sees that he's got the 
uh, power gloves might be looking ahead into the back of the escape right now, or could be doing uh, the never mind. <laughs> yeah. Or could be changing his mind. He said he'll show you. It's like he heard what I was saying. I'm telling you. <laughs> Listen to us right now. Uh, so here we go, Dragon. Fiend's gonna still continue to go through here. Well, well, I guess I have to worry about which rod she had initially, because now she has <laughs> both of them anyways. Maybe it could be a, a turtle rock pendant, pendant turtle rock, trinex required. Yeah, oh joy. <laughs> no, um, oh nice, so it looks like some Feeny got a sword upgrade as well. So once uh, Feeny transitions another screen here, we'll get to see that uh, white sword turn into a beautiful blue sword. Mm-hmm. No lamp, so dark room here. Might be why, uh, I, I was wondering if Grand Pooh Bear maybe decided that he might have wanted to go up Death Mountain and realized he didn't have the lamp. Didn't remember about, uh, <laughs> didn't remember about maybe back of escape. Yeah. Indeed. I'm not sure, do we even get a, I'm not sure if we got a map check yet either. Nope, not yet. Yeah. Cause well, we tell... Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. We can tell from the music though that uh Eastern Palace is in fact a crystal. Mm-hmm. And uh wow, speaking of crystals, Feeny being sent sixteen hundred plus rupees. <laughs> and becoming an old man oh, all at the goodness. same time. <laughs> wow. What an interesting day. Is this like reflective of real life? You get rich and you get old? <laughs> What's really happening? Man, we're still adding that money up there. That's a lot of rupees. Yeah. So, uh, Feeny's gonna be safe for a little bit. Maybe. Maybe. Might be able to go to Zora comfortably. Indeed. Nothing really in the back of the skate there. Yeah, I'm pretty much a bust there. A little more money on the 2K club and the balance. So they're going to be looking for either a Titan Smith, or like a glove upgrade, I guess, or the hammer, and they'll have Dark World access at this point. Yeah, indeed. And oh boy, is there anything in the randomizer? It's something those things will be the hardest thing. Hopefully, not going to force us up the up the mountain. Because interesting enough, I mean, uh, we have a sword, and we have the cape, so you know we could. Always deal with that mess. Yep. We would want a lamp before going up there. That's not gonna stop them. It'll stop me though, but <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going out of lamp, I'll tell you that. Because that would be out of the logic anyway. Yep. And with only four hearts, it makes the uh, Aga Tower climb a little bit more challenging. Indeed it does, that's for sure. So, Feeny, already with the Tempered Sword, by the way, and now the Cane of Berna. Goodness, just, just send him a whole 100% inventory, why don't you, you know? <laughs> Cane of Berna is my favorite item. I like it because it sparkles. The pretty sparkles. Yep, the pretty sparkles. Oh, boy. And it's going to be hard for me to keep up with the logic now because then they get these lovely items here that just they throw <laughs> logic out the window here. Who needs logic? Come on. Oh, boy. I mean, it is Nintendo. Half the stuff don't make sense anyway, so... You know. <laughs> so we get our, our first Zora check here. So this is going to be the moment of truth. Feeny has enough rupees. Oh, oh no! no! But takes the death... As the death spell ends. Oh, rip. And, uh, and, well, she was water walking, so no matter what, she would Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, this is why cheaters never win. Here, all you fake flippering people. <laughs> Tell you, play the game was intended. <laughs> so about that Zora check, looks like we're not getting the Zora check. This is I'm not the moment you. of truth. Oh, yeah. Truth denied for now. 
So Grand Pooh Bear with one heart. This is he's basically in one hit KO mode right now. Because mm. Whoa well, oh. no! Because you know what? Those crabs. You know what, Miss Miss Cole announcer here? I'm telling you. <laughs> I'm gonna have to ask you just to be quiet because I tell you. <laughs> oh I know. I got so a commentator curse. And the chat isn't helping, but hey, that's the whole goal here. You can see you can help prevent things like this by supporting these streamers in a positive way, giving them some extra hearts, or you know, maybe giving them some infinite. I don't know what some kind of infinite uh anything some heart containers some heart pieces some don't take away the heart containers i mean you can i don't mind but <laughs> you definitely can think about their struggle if you were in their boots you know <laughs> on the way back to the ice rod cave grand pooh bear now has two hearts oh one and a half hearts <laughs> see, uh, see? <laughs> <laughs> has turned Davis. into Dark Link and has the ice spell. Man, Ted, so we got ice physics. If he gets hit by those by those lobster crabs, he's dead, basically. Yep, and this time it's not me commentator cursing, by the way. I'll just Cat point curse. that out. <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm feeling... Oh. Oh. <laughs> just slipped and slid right in there, I'm telling you. <laughs> Uh, Ice Rod Cave and Zora is just not meant to be. Tay, these out of the way places, and there is our light source. Uh oh, <laughs> that that looks like maybe some Ega. I'm telling you, we've got our sword, we've got cape, and we've got lamp all in the logic. So, and we're chicken. Thini is a cuckoo. Oh, special sprite here. You can't play this in Rando right now. This is. Limited release right here. <laughs> but she, I don't think she remembers she has the mirror, so she's walking all the way back to the front door to yeah. go through the middle door. And that can definitely happen if you're a player and you just start getting things. I mean, you all are just throwing stuff through them and taking away from it. And it's a lot as a player. As you can see, man, Pooh Bear is just already going. Um, he doesn't have the lamp though. Nope. So, He's gonna um, very, very quickly realize that. Uh oh. <laughs> in in this next, not this room, but the next room. He's going. Yeah. Oh, we, never see, mind. Uh, oh you, no! You, but he's got a heart, like right after. <laughs> Sorry, you know, giving a heart to someone who's already dead isn't really the best strat. I'm just saying. Come on, it's always a good time to show somebody your love. You know what? Well, hey, a sword upgrade. That's nice. All right, here right we now. go. Here's the moment of truth. He <laughs> walks through that door right here. Does that we remember? Yep, there it is. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Peace. I'm out. <laughs> oh, poo, 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 poo. <laughs> oh, lordy. So Feeny walks all the way back, but because she didn't count the items, Rila didn't know that the map was the only thing that was left in escape, so walked all the way back to the beginning of the dungeon the instead of mirrored, only to go through the sewers to find the map. <laughs> Gotta make sure you keep a track of those items, and I, I have done that myself. Going back in there just for a key, I'm like, oh, okay, I thought it was so important. All right, take three on Ice Rod Cave. Grand Pooh Bear heading over, not taking no for an answer this time. He's going to be we'll hammering just, away at those crabs just to make sure. Maybe just say he's going to die. Maybe he'll live. That reverse psychology stuff, you know, it works. <laughs> your parents do it, so, you know, maybe we should do it here. <laughs> the question is, was Ice Rod K really worth it? That'll That'll be... Hopefully something good. Um, Feeny already heading up Death Mountain with the old man. Oh, go, has to be careful. Half a heart left. Ooh, gets a heart. Oh my goodness. Oh, the oh my goodness, the boulders. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> but That'd been gets, rough. gets in there, gets the the help. And Ooh. congrats to Pooh Bear making it to Ice Rock Cave for a nice little fungus. <laughs> so. Well, Grand Pooh Bear is is a pretty fun guy, so. Ah, uh, boy. <laughs> that guy. 
So we'll see what the shroom will deliver a little bit later when we kind of get in that area. Phoenix is going to make our way up. Since we do have that mirror, we can kind of go up there, take a little sneak peek and see what's in, see what's in the cave and Spectacle Rock and uh, just a single scent. All right. Hopefully, hopefully this mushroom pays off. Grand Pooh Bear is is definitely going for it. No Hyrule Castle for Grand Pooh Bear. He wants whatever this mushroom gives. Yeah. Sometimes you get these kind of fetch quests that can be good, and sometimes it's just, uh, really? <laughs> but if it's the hammer, this is going to be really good for him. Yeah. <laughs> you have to go inside to get the item. Oh, it's Bombos! Bombos! That is actually pretty good. Pretty worth it. If Ice Rod is, or if uh, Ice Palace is required, and or if it's a medallion that opens to a rock or Mr. Meyer. Yeah. But of course, I mean, hey, the way I got it, hey, they don't need Bombos at all for any of those. Ice is going to be a, a dog on pendant and. Ah, more trolliness, yes. So, Grand Pooh Bear, pausing here for a second. Sometimes we need a second just to, like... Oh, Feeny attempting... Oh, oh, no! That is not bueno. Man. Man, oh, man, oh, man. Destroyed by kitchen flooring. And uh, Toad currently with a death spell. Feeny also back as the old man again. This death spell is that is that is that, is that the one that's basically a one hit? That is the one hit KO. Yeah. And with these rats, that's not fun. How do you all do this to them? Oh, Feeny now stuck on the other side. Whoops! Yeah, <laughs> trying to go for the eye frame strap, but uh. I have to fend them off. Walked, walked a little bit too far. So I think at this point, Grand Pooh Bear is probably going to be heading into, uh, probably going to be heading into Hyrule Castle because that's really where he needs to go to get that lamp. Yes. And then I, I think at that point he might consider going up Ega Tower because he already tried to do it once, mm -hmm. but we don't know if that's required yet still. That is true. Definitely don't know. Might just want to have it have the way I already have that dark roll access. A nice little fairy there. Of course, no no much benefit from it. Nope. <laughs> Not when you're pretty much at full hearts. Yeah, right now, so who is playing as? Who is that? That's Nature Link. Yeah. Just uh, like, why is he? Oh, never mind. Never mind. I know why. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> let your let your imagination flow because was, that's exactly where that was going. <laughs> I was like, where's this little green dot on him? And I just realized it. It's a uh, oh, oh natural Link. <laughs> and of course, uh, Feeny is playing as who is this? This is. Uh, is that? I don't know. Is that, is that Joker? <laughs> I guess the only one that's left. It's not. It's not a chicken. It's not the Pokachu. It's not Tingle. It's not an yeah, old man. It's, it's, so, it's Joker. Yeah. It has to be Joker. I might even ask what or who Joker is because I don't know, and I'm probably bad for not knowing it. I'm sorry. Oh, ice physics applied right at the beginning of the Molder. And inverted controls. You are a horrible. I love you. <laughs> oh, oh God. no. The worst of both worlds. Ugh. When those powers combine, you have a, a just a bad fight coming for you. Especially at Moldorm. Oh no, you wanna give her a heart. Let's just show him some love. Show him some love after the betrayal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That was quite the timing, though, I must say. So here we go, take two. Oh, boy. 
gotta be careful. And the thing is, inverted- Oh no! <laughs> oh boy. Once you get hit the first time! Oh, and another heart container! Oh, mm, but Beanie mm. takes the death! Timing, timing, timing. Well, Spinny just gets just unfortunately assaulted from the oh yeah, and, and of course the conversion ends or oh, the inversion ends conversion. Oh my goodness! But <laughs> who gets his light source? So are, are we converting uh, Trollborn Falls into heart containers? Is I that don't know what's the going conversion on. Rate is? <laughs> Shoot, let me go check on my XC website conversions here. It might be, but I tell you what. <laughs> This is just how these interactive races can go when you begin to send these random effects and items. That kind of stuff happens, and our players know it can happen. Don't know when or where. We also got our first map check. We got a red pendant at Tower of Hera and a red crystal at Eastern. Mm -hmm. And of course, Desert Palace, just a regular crystal. Yep. So Pooh Bear making his climb up there, working to the Hera area. Yep, uh, was about to make a pit stop, but uh, definitely changed his mind there last second. <laughs> Did not go in there. So Dragon has been upgraded to, uh, it's like tempered now. A little butter action I saw there. Hmm. I noticed that the chat is slowly bankrupting Grand Pooh. I just see 20 and 20. This uh, the faucet effect on his bank account over there. Yep, slowly, slowly taking all his rupees away. So if any getting to fight this fight is a, in a much more desirable way here. Doing pokes instead of the spins. Gonna enrage Moldor oh, here, and you gotta be oh, careful. Oh, oh, no. Ah, yep. Yeah, right at the end there. Gonna have to restart that fight. All right. So take take one, right? First try every time. Isn't that There's how you always works? the first try? First try every time. One in try. One in D. And GG Feeny killing <laughs> killing Moldorm and obtaining a heart piece. Oh, and I think that's pretty much it for overworld stuff. They can't they don't have the hammer or the hook shot to get across, no books to get into any other dungeons. So I think this is an egg a required seed. I'm telling you. I'm telling you the minute I see an early sword and a cape, I'm already scared. And Grand Pooer, instead of heading into Tahara, opts to just go straight to Ega instead. So this is actually, uh, even though Feeny got the the pendant, because Tower of Hera isn't required, they're going to be basically neck and neck now again. Uh, yeah, unless like... I missed her picking up a hammer. I don't... Yeah. I'm... Oh, no, she hasn't gone to Agina, she, so she still has yet to do that. Oh, and we got Tingle now! Well, <laughs> Tingle and Pug got Pug over there for, for Poo right now. And of course, he's still getting jacked in his bank account balance. Just getting a nice <laughs> little deposit. Man! Have we- we haven't even seen Zora yet, though, have we, actually? No, no one's made it there yet. <laughs> It's a deadly, it's a treacherous tail, trail. Tail. I mean, <laughs> you know, I mean, Finn can, can talk to them four times, but the way this chat is going, I, that's a dangerous attempt now, you know? Yep. Even though, even though Feedy has the rupees, one hit KO doesn't leave a lot for, uh, a lot of room for any mistakes. But Feeny oh, yeah. does have the the uh, Feeny does have the uh, Kena Burna, so yeah. Um, um it's for, for those who are asking in the chat, I see people asking about the uh, about the sprite. Um, I believe that when you all put towards one of the sprites, whichever one has the lead, it will instantly change their sprite right then and there. So right now, it looks like. Uh, what do we have there? 
Phoenix on Tingle right now. Is that yep. it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Phoenix on Tino at Tingle. Ting? I don't know. Tingle. <laughs> and, the, and the pug is currently on poo right now. So that's how that one works. <laughs> and uh, back with the ice physics. <laughs> Pooh Bear making sure that he's not going to be getting hit by anything. Only one and a half hearts left here. Uh, no jinxes. <laughs> hey. So I ain't taking this time for ice is not for... Goodness, this game really has some really strong ice for this. Yep. You know, going down, going in doors and down staircases, just... Ugh, goodness. Oh, the, my favorite one is uh, the Turtle Rock. When you're heading to the f room right before the final boss of Turtle Rock, Ugh. <laughs> you get stuck. You get stuck in the door if you're in ice physics. You can't actually get through the door. No, my goodness. Hey, you <laughs> all can make us relive that in real time. <laughs> all right. Okay. Looks like we're seeing Zora. She's making I, it. I hope it was worth the effort because we've seen a lot of deaths trying to get here. Oh, oh my. Look at that. Look at that. It's there. the hammer. Never give up. We don't even need to do auger. Oh, no. Don't tell Pooh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. So we do have dark world access with that power glove and that hammer and that moon pearl. So you can go see the other side of the world, which is going to be a lot more interesting with these crazy effects, where it's a lot more dangerous. Because Pooh was broke. I wonder why he was broke. <clears throat> <laughs> We need some Pooh Bear supporters here to, uh, to help Pooh Bear along. Hey. So, uh, Hype Cave getting the first check here from Dragon Feeny. <laughs> and we got 50 rupees so far. Oh! oh. <laughs> Another sword upgrade. Oh, the blue mail. Oh, that's a nice little combination to have right to start the dark world. Press Pooh making down. He's gonna get check the check the pyramid since he's going that route. Just a little tri bomb, so. Mm. So interesting enough here is that Pooh is in Dark World, but you know, um, we don't have hammer. We don't have flippers. We don't have hook shot. Nope. Um, so we're kind of limited here on his movement around. He uh, he might be able to pick up an item or something inside pod, depending upon if the first chest is a key. Yeah, he's got that, and he's got catfish. And... Oh, but oh. it looks like we have a Pooh Bear supporter here, given uh, you know the incentive to go to. Zora. Zora. I hope he knows the money he got because he has to quickly go back. Man, even another five hundred. You can see Mother his is getting paid. You can see his desire to get hey. towards <laughs> to get Dude, towards Zora. Fifty more. Have mercy. Yo, I'm making sure he's got his financials taken care of here. Oh. Somebody's taking 250 rupees, though. He's gotta, he's gotta get the move on. I, I, I <laughs> see this, I see this chat division here with Pooh's bank account here. He quit. <laughs> We've got hash, you know, we got hashtag team rich and hashtag team broke. Pooh Bear, here. what are you doing? I, <laughs> Go back. I, I, Pooh was, I, I don't think he realized he had Pooh Bear. I don't think either. Like, it's been really early since they picked up well, the mirror, but... Well, you know, here's the thing. I know why. See, Pooh is used to being legless, and when you have that joy of having legs, you want to walk everywhere you can. That's what <laughs> it is. So... <laughs> so here he goes over to Pod to see what's going on. Well, here's the thing. He's going to get in Pod, and for Pooh Bear's sake... He needs to hope that the first item is an item that's like 
I don't know, something that's not gonna lead him anywhere. Yeah. Like, if it's flippers, that would be convenient. Because he can't do anything with those right now. Yeah. So, but he, but it might lead him to Zora. I'm hoping, come on. Gotta have some faith, faith in the uh, seed. Trust the seed. Trust the seed. The seed is not what I'm worried about. <laughs> and neither should the braces. Honestly, the seed is the least of the Christmas. Oh man! But yo, by the way, you have to give some some love to both Pooh and Feeny, because on the player side, a randomizer is already a noun, as I call it myself. But to add in the randomness of a couple thousand people in chat, <laughs> you just don't know it. It's, it's just a whole new world. I'm telling you. So, and only uh, a few people have had a chance to experience that, you know. Yep. We are back on the Google Sprite for Feeny, and uh, Grand Pooh Bear did pick up a small key in here, so we're going to see him head deeper in the pod. Mm -hmm. And get another small key as Feeny heads into Skullwoods. Yeah. Hmm. Keys and keys and more keys. Lots of keys. No bottle, though, for for Grand Pooh Bear, so he's not even going to be able to do the uh, the bottle glitch to get any farther in here. Unless he happens to find a bottle right away. But I expect that he's going to find a, another small key here. Yeah. If not in this one, then the next chest, yeah. A big key for Feeny. Lots of keys. Yeah. So if he can go ahead and quickly check out this chest as a result, bomb jump across. Because no one has time to go the intended route. And it was totally worth it. Man, oh man, there's that hook shot. So Feeny's on fire here, picking up items left and right. Yeah, as of now, we're not we're not sure about Bombos on. We haven't had a map check of Darkwater to know yet if we need it for uh, either of our medallions, medallion dungeons. But, nor do we know about Ice Palace yet. Nope. So another small key that's gonna lead Grand Pooh Bear off to the, uh, chest, the big chest area. I don't think he's gotten a big key yet, though. That might be on right side. Yeah. Well. The run has been validated. <laughs> All that matters. The single arrow. And we're back on... <laughs> oh, we're back on missing no for Feeny. Oh, <laughs> apparently, Team Bankrupt on Pooh Bear just wiping out his funds. He was over 1600 at one point. He's losing a Benjamin every five seconds. If Where's that oh, big key? That's actually a really convenient find. Yes. With the big chest right nearby. Man. So we need to show we need to show Grand Pooh Bear some love soon. He's gonna have to head towards Zora. Yeah. Then again, close to the end. Oops. Oh, I was here. And oh my. <laughs> Feel a little bit cloudy in pod all oh, of a sudden. Boy. Internal snow, that's what we got. <laughs> Half magic uh <laughs> gave us a little bit of a scare. <laughs> Indeed. So Fiend will probably not have any problems with this boss. Um, especially when the crowd just upgraded her armor on top of it. I guess that's plus one on her blue mail already. So let me not see anything. Sometimes it has to, like, a screen transition has to take effect. Yep, and uh, I think we'll be okay. Yep. So Grand Pooh Bear heading back up towards Tower of Hera. Hey, a bottle of B for our troubles. 
and the first uh, crystal of the of the match here. Yep. Only took us forty two minutes. <laughs> At that rate, we'll be here until tomorrow morning. <laughs> so Finny's gonna make that uh, walk bear. Uh oh, oh, we're in one hit knockout mode. Yep, and in dark, and in um, sorry, in dark world, that's a little bit dangerous because that's gonna send her all the way back to the, <laughs> the light world, as well as inverting the controls, and she's back in Skull Woods again. <laughs> How dirty can you get? Oh, I love it. So right now, who's winning? Well, if you're gonna go, just say. Feeney just getting the first one for will have a crystal advantage. If Feeney does have the crystal advantage, Grand Pooh mm -hmm. Bear desperately, desperately needs to head over to you, Zora. Yeah, it's going through here. We know here is just one of our um, one of our pendant dungeons, and I don't believe there was anything too exciting in here. I'm wondering if um, Pooh Bear realizes that he hasn't done Zora yet. Because he did, remember, he did do um, some fake flippers early on, but he died on the way to Ice Rod Cave while he was fake flippered. I'm telling you, going to Zora. And if I was him, I'd be, I'd be scared because with his fluctuating money count, and he keeps going back above 500, you know, he's like barely at 550. I mean, he could go there. You know what's going to happen. He's going to go be a frame away from Zora and then <laughs> 499. <laughs> Feeney's run has also been validated in the treasure chest game. <laughs> oh, boy. We're gonna get to see what's in the bombable hut in the brewery, I guess is what it's called on the website. Just a heart piece, nothing of significance. Uh, and we still have yet to get a map check. And interesting, I, I do find it interesting, Feeny hasn't map checked once yet. Yeah. Well, you know, maybe they're going off the music. Maybe they, you know, um, she could be just going off, hey, I have access here. Let's just go. You know, let's see what's in here. Forget what's, you know, what may be there. And she probably realized that with her being in Dark World, she only has access to two places. I mean, she knows that she knows that Turtle Rock and and Meyer are off limits without Mirror or I'm sorry, Mirror and having a flute and ice, you know, no flippers and all that stuff. And so we also know that Thieves Town is in fact a crystal. With the music going right now, we can tell that. That is, in fact, a crystal dungeon, so mm -hmm. it is 100% completable at the moment with the items that Feeny has. That's true. Ooh, and we got a cane of Burna over on Grand Pooh Bear's side. Aw, aren't y'all nice? Now, you see his money count? See, he been on his way to Zora, sitting there messed up another hundred, I'm telling you. So yeah, Grand Pooh Bear desperately needs some rupees. Yep. And uh, oh boy, it gets to kill in there. We should just take some of Feeny's rupees and give it to Grand <laughs> Pooh Bear. <laughs> uh, see now you see now you on some Mario Party strats here. <laughs> Stealing rupees from your opponent. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you can tell you can tell about the music um, in the current mode, um, whether or not they're in a pendant or crystal dungeon. Yeah. So here we go. Pooh is going to. <clears throat> I'm going to go down there. He's, since he gets that, oh, still have it. Yeah. He's got well. Interestingly enough, he doesn't have the hammer, so <laughs> yeah, not really going to be able to do that. But if he did have the hammer, that would be a sequence break because not only would he not have had um, half magic, he also wouldn't have had cane to burn it. Oh wait, no, because he had the he had the cape. Yeah. 
And because he defeated- sure he could have made it though, that's a pretty hefty walk. With half magic, absolutely. Yeah. Ooh, Feeny finding the quick medallion. Alrighty, that's, that's good news there. That's two of the three. So you might not have to worry about that, we can find the other one. Of course, we don't have hammer right now, so I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm missing an item. So we may have to, we don't want to have to come in have to, but to see what that small key ends up being. Alright, we are about 50 rupees away, and we are not 50 <laughs> rupees away anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you. Who's trying to go another flake flip, uh, fake flip? Ooh, and he nails it. Alright, we're getting there. We're getting there. Alright, here comes the most challenging 40 seconds of his life. Can't, oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Don Perry said, nah, son. He ain't been talking his over today. Nope, but. <laughs> There and there's no rupee. I think there's maybe twenty rupees. No, there, no there's rupees. twenty on. I think there's twenty on the ledge. So that was still probably only at four ninety nine. Okay, well, he's back over there. Oh, all right. He's over. He's over five hundred. He's gonna. He's gonna make the the climb here towards here Zora. Go. Here we go. Will Can he, he make have it? enough money? <laughs> or will he all just body him when he gets right beside of it? Oh, and Feeny's getting her controls inverted here. Fantastic. There you go. Pooh's almost there. Oh, man, he got a big deposit there. Oh, man. He, oh, he's paid. Oh, GG. Sweet. Oh, you can talk to Zor a couple times. <laughs> All right, so he finally gets it. He's going to love what he receives for that. <laughs> I wonder how he's feeling. I'm telling you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> now y'all can bankrupt him. He all right. Well, he does still need 80 rupees for the digging game. He still needs 30 rupees for the chess <clears throat> game. He has not been to those. So if yeah. you take all his money away now, he's still not going to be able to complete everything. Yeah. Feeny's going to be carefully down to two hearts. Still need to get a couple more hits on blonde here. Feeny does have, though, the blue cane. I'm surprised. Oh, I know the blue cape and the cape. Yeah. So again, it, it might have slipped her mind. And it, again, that's going to happen sometimes. You forget what you have, and you, you get caught up in the heat of the moment. You just die, 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 and unfortunately, you die. So the balls. <laughs> so again, yeah, not a penalty, not a, a huge uh, penalty here. Just a moderately short walk back to the balls. Much worse dungeons to die in, that's for sure. Feeny's picking up some hearts along the way. He's going to be able to pick up one more. So hopefully he remembers that she has the blue cane. And I think, yep, yeah. yeah, it seems like her stun prize is, in fact, hearts. So she's also attempting to do something where if you hook shot a heart um, there's a chance that you might actually be able to get two hearts instead uh, when it kind of refills amazing programming <laughs> that's actually one thing that's interesting to note for a lot of people who don't run random or don't play it a lot I mean I realize that that stun prize is unique to that to that particular um, seat there so if you have a really good stun prize which is having hearts is pretty good any sellable item like the boomerang or the hook shot, take advantage of it. Yep. And Feeny defeating Blind, getting her 20 rupees and second crystal. Mm hmm. So, no death this time, two crystals. Pooh Bear is still on that hunt. Get that first one. Because we know there's one sitting over here. And uh, over here in the woods. Yep. So Feeny gonna be active or attempting to activate her flute. 
Gotta get through. Yeah, there we go. No more mirror bonks. So hopefully we get a dark world mirror or mirror. Ugh. A dark world map soon. I'd be yeah. curious to know whether or not um, Ice Palace, Turtle Rock, Misery Mire, if any of those are pendants or crystals. Yeah, that would be interesting. It'd be nice if, if um, at least for maybe a completion, if Meyer and Turtle Rock weren't um, a crystal, you know, we could worry about that headache trying to find possibly the missing one and the rare event that the one they don't have is the one they need. And of course, a little reading material. So for Feeny, that's fantastic because now we can go check out um, Desert. Now we know desert is a is a um a crystal. So assuming we don't have to worry about a uh, key on that torch, uh, that could be a problem. Yeah, of course and, we and are missing something else. I would, I to be honest, I would rather see a key up there, just because that means that you're gonna get the boots before Ganon's tower. <laughs> Oh, not a fan of that, eh? Personally, when I'm racing, I like <laughs> to see the boots before Ganon's tower. <laughs> I want the boots at the jump. Bump the... <laughs> I want to go fast. Think of those good times here. Oh, man. Someone just bodied Feeny's flute. Oh. No flute for you, apparently. Nope. Gonna get walking back to Kakariko. Let me tell you, let's go, Mario. We got a Mario sprite for Pooh. And it's element now. He's a little bit low on heart. Well, that doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys and gals of the chat here, giving him one knockout. But with Kane of Burna. As long as he's careful. As long as they remember they have it. Because we saw Feeny having these invincible game to use them, taking depths. Yeah. So we're getting hearts. Of course, right now, irrelevant, but hopefully when the spell runs off, they'll have it. Again, that one hit knockout lasts for a minute. Yep. And Feeny might be feeling a little cuckoo right now. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> and somebody with the infinite magic! Oh no, oh, with the one hit KO! I tell you! Got the rainbow health bar over there and it doesn't even matter. So Pooh's gonna have to go again. Still gonna enjoy the infinite magic. Yeah, but he's gotta remember that he is in one hit KO mode. So... <clears throat> he cannot fall here, either. Yeah, but these, like I said, these infinite effects last for a minute. So, want to make the best of them. Oh, Feeny picking up the Titan's Mitts, though. That is an excellent find. Wow, talk about, like, so close by where you really need to use them at. I mean, goodness. It's a ledge nearby. Looks like the death spell is ended. Mm-hmm. So, Finny's gonna have Pooh access. Can... Oh man. Come on, Pooh. <laughs> Cram Pooh Bear is on fire over here. Literally. Just needs a couple more hits in. As long as it doesn't hit the spikes. Let's go, Mario. There we go. Well, bam. Mothula dead. Yeah, well, I believe for the deactivation, that would. If I remember correctly, I believe the flute deactivating will make it inaccessible in the menu. Uh, um, or... Nope. You'll be able to use it in the menu. Like, you'll be able to still use it. it. It's just the duck won't come anymore. Oh. What happened to the duck? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the duck is on vacation. He flew south, apparently. <laughs> oh, boy.
All right, so Fiend's gonna be to pick up her third, uh, her third crystal here after this fight. Yep, and Grand Pooh Bear does have his first crystal. Yeah. Ooh, a nice one cycle land mo for Feeny. Look at her showing out those skills. So she gets to Meyer um, by mirroring, and she has the golden gloves, the Titan Mist now. So she's going to yep. simply mirror him and lift up that rock, and bam, there she is, just south of it. Yeah, she's going to have to go back to Kakariko because her flute has been deactivated. Yeah, she's going to deal with that for now. Oh, birdie. Ducky. <laughs> 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 yeah, the, the the frustration pulls here. Duck.exe has stopped responding. You can tell she's she's waiting. She's like, will somebody activate my my flu for me? <laughs> nope. Nope. Better get walking, Feeny. Wow. <laughs> you know, the duck is stuck. Oh, that's that's so good. Um, from a financial standpoint, there's really much to buy right now. I mean, they might get some potions, you know, later, but for now, you know, the main purchase is treasure games or early bombs. Good job, you all. <laughs> Coming out Feeny with her duck issues. And on top of it, rubbing a little bit of salt in the wound by making her into a bird as well. <laughs> <laughs> the timing of that's fantastic. Oh my goodness. I hear that uh, there's somebody working on a, a swag duck uh, sprite too. Well now. Mm -hmm. There you go. That sounds good to me. Right, well, it's oh. going to be a checkerboard cave. I didn't see what the uh, required entry... I think it was Quake, maybe, for Misery Mire? Yeah. I I'm personally hoping for the duck to carry the chicken. I, I really want to see that, because you <laughs> won't see it anywhere else. Oh, I'm happy. Yes, yes, yes. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Oh, dead rock block! Oh, a chicken has left the building. Bye bye, Cuckoo. So, and we got Green Mario over here. <laughs> it's Green Mario. I kind of like this dude. So, Feeny are now heading over to East Death Mountain for the first time. Yep. Of those lovely, um,. Those lovely titans, we can take care of all that stuff over there. That's so what are we looking for? We have, uh, we have Turtle Rock that's the green pendant. Ooh. That could be interesting. Ooh. And you know there's a habit of good stuff being way deep in that dungeon. No one likes. So maybe Sahashala Bow or something like that? No. Uh. We're picking up our medallion there. Some Ooh, blue goo. Ooh. That's our second bottle, I believe, now. Yep. And you can actually... Chat is able to actually fill those bottles when they're empty. That's right. So whatever flavor of Kool-Aid you're into, if you like a B action or... Hey, you can make it happen. But the runners have to actually use them in order for that to work. And actually realize they have them. Oh, that is the cane of Samaria right there. That and is that pretty interesting. Means, that means I think we're now able to head into Turtle Rock, depending upon what the medallion is required there. Yeah, that is another convenience win there nearby. Gosh, blowing up the chickens. How Zelda-like. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's just so disturbing, I swear. So let's see if we're going to have our medallions up. Oh, the chicken's going to head down. So take a little sneak peek first at Spiral Cave. Nice and slow. Okay. 
Yeah, Beanie's got to be careful because I think we have one hit KO mode on right now. Please don't kill the chicken. Having the hook shot, that's actually really nice for Sparrow Cave. Able to use those, uh, <laughs> the hook shot to basically kill everything from far away. Grand Pooh Bear, uh, heading through the blind fight here, just needs three more hits on the last. Ooh. Oh no! But speaking of one hit KO, look at the timing of that. Can you... That was perfection in timing. <laughs> you know what, uh, John Kimball, you you are amazing. I, I mean, Pooh doesn't like you right now, but <laughs> that timing. We literally have the chat executing frame perfect strats here. I mean, good lord. <laughs> Let's see some frame perfects in chat. Man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh man. no. <laughs> man. Breath. As another spell applies. What what is going on here? Man, who's gonna have to go walk around with his with his um blue cane or cape on the whole time with you all? And he's out. <laughs> no more <laughs> thieves town. So he's like, right now. I'm wait. I'm waiting until that goes away. He's like, man, if, if that person in check can just go away, I'll come back. Maybe he'll forget about me. <laughs> you know? Oh boy. So there we go. There's our there's our map check right. Yep, Feeny's grabbing her map check. Ice Palace. Pendant, Turtle Rock Pendant, and uh, Feeny did pick up the bow, it looks like. Yes, yes, yes. That is, uh, that is a good one. We need that. So let's see what Hookshot does here. Again, we have a lot of these, a lot of these items here. Probably gonna swing by and check out Turtle Rock in just a second here. Pretty good odds that we have what we need, but of course you know how this game works. <laughs> and the other thing, Turtle Rock was also the Quake Medallion. So oh, we're way in there. We definitely can access Turtle Rock. But do we really want to do Turtle Rock at all? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if it just being the green, you know, we got that thing tied to Sarashala, but um a lot of items in there and I very just... dangerous as it is with the chat being able to one hit KO these people in that dungeon oh uh, boy and at this point I don't think they even need anything um basically just whoa well, yeah they need flippers yeah we need flippers so I mean you could have flippers on Trinex <laughs> Well, just anywhere beyond the initial couple of rooms is just, you know. But putting something that far in on Laser Bridge or Chronics, like you said, it's just, it could happen. And I think many of us have probably played Seas where that important item was deep into that dungeon. Graham Pooh Bear back in Thieves Town. Now, what is he going back in here? What is he? Did he forget? He's cleared the balls. I guess trying to go to the big chest. Oh, oh no. no! That death spell. Oh no! Yeah, man, Phoenix just getting out of there with a half heart. Unfortunately, not the best reward. <clears throat> the flute gives you the ability to basically travel quickly between the locations on the map. Uh, which is required for you in order to access, for instance, Misery Mire. You gotta have that flute, and you need to have yourselves the Titans to lift that rock to even access Mire. <laughs> and uh, we're being serenaded by <laughs> Feeny, the beautiful music of the flute as she tells you how she feels about everyone deactivating her flute on her all the time. <laughs> yeah. There we go. I love how both players' death spells in at the same time. 
Pretty cute. <laughs> and Pooh Bear getting that kill. Again, remember he had that invincibility item. One HKO type events. So there he is, number two for him. And, uh, <laughs> so how soon before we get unducked again? For I don't know. That that is a tough one. That is wasn't having a turbo button issue, but one of the effects that you all can have is to deactivate the flute. So if the flute is deactivated, um, they have to go reactivate it there at um, there in town. There is a cap, though. It's a maximum number of seven times that can be done throughout the entire race. So, oh boy. Those uh, murder dactyls, pretty deadly. Feeny taking care of it. Mm -hmm. Grand Pooh Bear using his rupees. 80 rupees here for the digging game. And digging game with ice, fun. Of course, it's over now, thankfully. <laughs> yeah, they're, the upgrades of the swords that you all can do. Um, that permanently levels up their their sword levels. Plus one from whatever they have. Yep, so Phoenix off to pod here. So she's gonna get a small key in this chest here. And uh that John Kimball turning off that flute on Feeny, unfortunately. <laughs> oh. I'm sure we'll hear about it as soon as she gets out of the dungeon. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't need it anytime soon. Again, she can full. We got everything you know and all that good stuff. They are they are permanent cold worm. Yeah, upgrading the armor, shield, or sword if you choose to do so is a permanent upgrade for. So, and of course, in randomizer fashion. I current logic. If they were to find one of those other items, there would be no change in their status. Unless it was a higher level, per se. So, for instance, if you all bought an upgrade from level 2 level 3, and they found another sword, they would have a level 4, and that would be it for them. Yep. So we're gonna get to see the Bamos tablet here. Yeah, Pooh first to head over there. So let's see what will fall down from the sky. A little speech. Maybe the flippers would be nice. But unfortunately, just 20 rupees. Womp, which at this womp. point, not really something we need. Yeah, the I see the, the attack of the money situation has calmed down on this picture for both players. But man, that was fun to watch it. Zora is really that one that you you gotta be careful of. Because it, it just takes the seed, of course, where Zora is a required item to <laughs> troll the runners. Mm hmm. Man, a, a blue cuckoo, a blue chicken shooting a silver arrow. I have seen it all. <laughs> so, Feeny, right now, the thing she's looking to hopefully find is those flippers. We found flippers for her, and she is she's ready to go. Yeah, and I'm trying to think. Oh, there's the blue cane. Uh, oh, and just in time for a death spell. Oh, joy. <laughs> just what I'm sure she wanted. We're a little careful here. Oh. Oh, oh, damn, not oh, another nice no. spell. I'm sure our players just loving this one. So we're Grand Pooh Bear heading to Sanctuary. I wonder where he's gonna go. He's got the flute now. Might be heading off to activate that. Yeah, but enjoy it while you can. Oh! But oh, Feeny's no. taking a death. 
I'm telling you. You know, I, 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 you know, this is a unique situation that obviously not many people have experience with. But I'm telling you, if you can catch a, a glimpse of that one hit knockout spell being activated, you realize, hey, you've got to have magic, full magic, and you've got both events with the Irish. You might just have to play it safe and just, you know, get it, survive the minute as much as you can. And especially in these dungeons where it requires a lot of work to get back to where you are. Now, I see a, a question in chat in regards to what these two runners are playing on. Uh, both these two runners are playing on their their consoles at the moment. So, this is on SD to SNES. It's not just for emulator. Yeah, we fancy up in this piece, I'm telling you. Because <laughs> this is some high-tech stuff here that, again, just goes to the show. When you have just some, some fantastic programmers, you know, you've got someone just amazing who makes this even possible. You know, Twitch connectivity on that, on top of the actual <laughs> program of the randomizer. Sorry. I, I, yeah, I saw that. <laughs> Pooh Bear knocked back off the stairs every time. Yeah, I, I, I was trying to maintain my composure there. <laughs> Poor guy. You want up the stairs? No, you don't. <laughs> <laughs> Back down with you today. No oh boy, man, who having to work? Good old ice physics. You know this wouldn't be so bad actually, because if anyone happened to play the randomizer during the um, holiday season when they had the like, the holiday randomizer with the complete old world and ice physics. That was joy. <laughs> yeah, the holiday one was pretty awesome. Yeah. Grand Pooh Bear trying to trying to select what he's gonna do. He's in. He's got to be careful. I don't remember if he's in one hit KO mode right now or not. He's got half magic, so. Yeah, so he'll be okay. Except for he probably can't leave <laughs> like that, yeah. Nah. Yeah. Um, no, we have not had any pedestal checks, and probably unlikely. Yeah, Ice Palace is, in fact, a pendant, which means that the flippers can't be on the pedestal. So. Boots might, though. Still looking for those sticky boots. Don't really need them, of course. You know, who knows? Well, you might need them for, uh, you might need them if the Ganon's Tower Binky is on the torch. Can we not talk about that, please? Okay, thank you. <laughs> See, I wasn't trying to bring up what you said yourself. You didn't want to have anyway. But it sure can happen. Nothing would prevent you from that. It most certainly could happen. Oh boy, the pain. Especially if especially if they never even go into ice at all. Ice of all dungeons, Ice Palace. While this madness is happening. Duh. Well, that's the good thing is the flippers can't be an ice palace. So Can we turn on ground physics and just negate the ice? Is that a thing? <laughs> ground just, physics. Just dirt physics. Yep. Traction physics or something, you know? You should see the list of things that I've requested for trolling and oh. not trolling. Oh, after the first time I saw this, oh, I got an insult bridge here. I just didn't want to inundate him with my <laughs> evilness. <laughs> we should we should conspire sometime. Oh, I, I like that. <laughs> That's gonna be good. Faye wins, what do you want? I see some people in chat coming up with their own devious ideas. Feeny working on this boss here, trying to get that fourth crystal. Almost is looking a little green. Uh, oh, oh no! Oh no! I think it's a little late now, but it's all good. Oh, Sage. Uh, oh, I, uh, you know what? Wow. 
Man, oh man, oh man. Inverted and I. Like, this is one of the things that you almost need to practice, like holding your controller upside down just to get used to things like this when it happens. <laughs> that would oh, be extremely goodness. uncomfortable. <laughs> I'm telling you. But you know what? It it would be it would be good if there was your Y buttons and all that like A B Y and X. If I'm they telling you, actually like moved you around and then your D-pad is like your items. I'm telling you, you know what you know what I want? You know what would be awesome? I don't know if programmatic can happen, but can we rotate the screen 180 degrees? <laughs> just I'm telling you. <laughs> Play the game upside down. Like we literally could just randomly flip the game on this X and Y axis in like nine degree increments. Like I I'm telling you. <laughs> Invert and then invert the controls while you're doing it. Just oh man, <laughs> don't get me programming. Oh man, that would be great. And you know, not just inverted controls, but let's take up and just shift it over. So up is now right, right is now down, down is now left. <laughs> you better be glad I don't know how to program this thing, man. Invert screen coming to a bit race near you. <laughs> Are you gonna tilt the players? <laughs> oh, you're so you're so funny! <laughs> Give that man a gold star. We have I... Feeny heading back into Helmosaur right now. This will be the moment of truth. Hopefully, this goes good. Yep. So, Grand Pooh Bear is going to be picking up his Titan's Mitt soon. I'm pretty sure he's going to be fairly happy about that. Feeny swapping to the Silver Arrows. <laughs> Easy one, one hit. A hundred damage there. It's just a heart piece for her troubles. Yeah. But she's got the mirror. She's able to mirror straight over to Eastern Palace and get that next crystal. Yeah, really want to get these in quick succession, that's for sure. As a matter of fact, now what? Eastern and Eastern and Palace of Darkness both are red pennants, correct? Um, was that... I, I think Pod was. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they both were actually. I know Eastern was for sure, but Pod I don't recall off the top of my head. So if that was, if that is the case, hey, we could we could swing by the fairy in the pyramid, might have flip sitting there for one. Yep. So for those who just joined the stream, like, and you ask, "Hey, what does this interactive?" Matter? Well, this is a this is a bid race that allows you all to cheer towards helping or hindering your favorite or non-favorite streamer, apparently, by providing a variety of effects that you can do in the game, including things such as taking away their armor, or removing health, or sending them a fairy in a bottle, or Maybe you put them in one hit knockout mode and a variety of effects that you can see by typing um, that particular command execution bit races. Tons of stuff, tons of funds to help and just have a really good experience in the random out. And I know that there is plans to implement it into other games as well. <laughs> <laughs> I know that... why you're particularly excited about one of them. Oh, I am, and I, I don't think I can say anything, but I'm I'm hype. I'm, yep. I'm hype. I am hype as well, and uh, you guys in chat are just gonna have to stay tuned. Oh yes. 
So we have yeah. Feeny who's heading into the almost fight. Yep, so I believe she's um free of any kind of adverse actions right now, so Yeah, and you guys wanna make sure that you're saving some of your uh, actions for Ganon's Tower. Cause that is the place. That is the place to throw your your stuff out. Why would they be so mean to do that? It's, it's not like it's a long stage or anything. The the best is when you are going to what is it? The Rando Room. Oh. You're on your way to the Rando Room, and boom, all your bombs are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's four chests you can't open. <laughs> so Sakura is sitting here giving you what you should be doing, basically. I, I'm just, I'm making some helpful suggestions. Helpful. Helpful by taking away all of your explosives, see? Well, I mean, they're not helpful mm -hmm. for the runners. They're helpful I'm, for the I thought you were hiding under an alias in chat right now, bodying these people. I, I knew it. Oh, no, I'd buy it straight out with my name. <laughs> <laughs> Just about the sharing stuff. No, I got it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. The chat is already trying to figure out other game ideas now. <laughs> Slow down the auto scrollers in Mario. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you all. That would be terrible! Can you imagine, like, the World 4 airship going, like, a tenth of its speed? Like, oh my god. It would oh, throw we could off any speed Oh, runner. man, we could speed it up, like, ten times. Oh, baby. Oh, <laughs> The auto-scroller times ten. Oh, oh my, my goodness. god. <laughs> I'll bump this. Bump my stream. I'm, gonna, I'm about to go find me a development <laughs> And this is too good. All oh. right, so Poop is in the Hookshot Cave. Uh, Hookshot Cave didn't have too much earlier, and uh, maybe the little frog will give us a pair of flippers here. I still think flippers are in Turtle Rock. I think so, eh? I mean, Misery Mar has been known to hold some stuff too. Yeah, but it's a shame it's only two items there, and man, another longer kind of dungeon. But, uh, hey, we'll find out soon. So, Feeny just dropped off the blacksmith and, oh, five rupees. Yeah. So, again, it could be there. We could be on what I call Chester the Chest, because I was just the best name ever. <laughs> Chester the Chest. That is amazing. I mentioned yesterday when I was doing commentary, that's the first time I played this game last year. I, I'm, I'm new to this game, honestly, compared to others, and it was just, I just called him Chester. It's the best name for a chest. Well, if you have a pet chest, name it Chester. It just makes sense. So I bet a lot of people are going to be confused as to what just happened on Feeny's screen. Yeah. So interestingly enough, when you hit the pegs down, there, you know, there's only a certain amount of pegs required, but the game will save if you hit some of the pegs down. The game will save if you bear into the light world and dro drop off the blacksmith, they'll save the, the amount that you've dropped off or that you hit down already. So you just need to come back into the dark world, hit those pegs down, the remainder of those pegs down, and open. Yeah, <laughs> man, Feeny had a. In a <laughs> Revisiting an old place again, I wonder why. Yep, and I think that that makes it the last time that Feeny can be unducked. I tell ya. Alright, so we're gonna go take care of Chester the Chest here. See if our... See if our guy can help us out here. So guy Gary. I don't think I don't think Vinny's been out here to check the uh, tablet anyway, so Yeah, I don't think she's seen Bamos yet. Unfortunately not gonna be anything helpful for her, but it's at least something she can knock out at the same time. Yeah.
All right, let's go, Chester. Looking for some flipper action. Nope, 20 rupees. I still say flippers is in Turtle Rock. No, we're in Turtle Rock. What do you think? We're in Turtle Rock. That's a good question. I don't think it's going to be at the end. Like, I'd like it to be at the end. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you're just as bad as the chat. I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> no, I would no. like it to be at the end. I would like it to be with. Actually, I would like it to be as a Hoshla because it's green pendant. But um, well, they can't get more in than that one. <laughs> no, but uh, I doubt that it'll be that far in. Probably like I don't know the the one the room with the one roller and the chest in it or Chain Chomp's room. But I still think it's in Turok. Or we can make it more fun and have the boss drop the shovel and then have the shovel to like dig up the boots and then go over there to the, you know, over there to the, uh, what the, the, the bonk rock on the side of sanctuary just to make him traverse a little bit more just cause I think there's a lot that can really do that really involves a lot of momentum. Or traveling. We're getting to see Misery Mire here. Yeah. Hopefully, for for Feeny, this yields something good. Yep. Yeah, Tunnel Rock is the green pendant. So, so we know that Ice Palace isn't going to have the flippers. True. Yep. Um, because obviously. Can't get there without the flippers, quote unquote. <laughs> According to the logic, anyways. What is this logic stuff? <laughs> but they had Quake really early on. They had the Ice Rod, they had the Fire Rod, and Canis the Maria. Yep. Yep, that one thing, and it could be here, a couple things here yep. in Meyer, but that's not it. Now they know where the boss is. Fantastic. <laughs> you want the constant ice physics, eh? I tell you. I, I tell you. Ice physics are fantastic. You know, um, I don't think I don't think Feeny has the big key yet. If I had the big key and a small key, I would have just probably went straight to the boss, just in case Vitreus had the item. <laughs> I'll get it out of the way now. Before, yep. <laughs> before the chat unleashes their wrath. Ooh, somebody's taking arrows away though wow, from Grand Pooh Bear. I know, man. Phoenix has no arrow. That's gonna be more difficult for her for the Vitreous fight. Yeah, you don't want to be here of any kind of low health situations here. Cause she's gonna be down to oh god what i mean she has level four sword there's a big key and a small key game pooh bear picking up that pod crystal hopefully mirrors over to eastern yep gonna be picking up that one now i wonder where grand pooh bear is gonna go after this because he could do the pyramid fairy he sure He's could for it. Yeah, that's one thing that Feeny hasn't done yet. Feeny definitely has enough rupees for it too. Why would you all want to sabotage the announcer? I tell you, how horrible. <laughs> like, some spell to like make our mic go and on every second or something. Oh my god. Like, <laughs> how could that be? Okay, I'm never for that. <laughs> uh, that's what you gotta get for using Xfinity. Alright, Feeny, gonna check that chest here. How oh, fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, one vote. I love you. Mm 
So we got the map and the compass. Still looking for some items. Yeah, Still gonna looking make for it back. Yeah, gonna make that east side there. <clears throat> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, here we go. A couple of chests here. I'm still looking for this item. Big there chest. Small key. <laughs> Lovely. Not the flipper. <laughs> Ooh, 300 rupees. Don't worry, she won't be having those for long, I'm sure. Jack her. Not too much need for money now nowadays. So what was that? That was the first item, right? The yeah, I believe Vitreus has the second. I don't recall seeing another one. Yeah. <laughs> Hold this space for a tiny key. Well, you don't want the key to be jammed up. You know, uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, but what is all this weird stuff? It's this new on-cart DLC from Random Out. No, 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 no. Part of the interactive race where you all can help contribute to the foolishness that you see happening for each of our players. You can help them in a variety of ways. You can hinder them um, and whatnot. You can save Feeny from having this low health. And, of course, you can also... Wow. She gets the health upgrade, but then someone has debuffed her sword, so it actually drops her sword level down. Yeah. Um, a notch. That is one of those uh, temporary effects uh, for one minute. Which isn't too bad since she got her supply of arrows back. She's 56 there and having silvers. Much more desirable for that upcoming fight. It looks like Grand Pooh Bear is going to be opting to probably head into Misery Mire as well. Yep. Take care of this dungeon. And then that's going to put them both pretty pretty much on on an even playing field at this point. Oh boy, her arrows are gone. <laughs> so she's going to immediately go to Cape Strats. I can't blame her. She has level 3 a little bit cloudy in here. And yep. of course, the sword is upgraded back up. It just ended the time. Which was fantastic for her. <laughs> you can't stop the fiend. And Ice Bell, which. Well, she's... <laughs> she, she won't be moving anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Man, the chat just turned just vicious. Just jacking her of all her stuff. Oh, so it looks like the uh, there was another item somewhere. So that was just a small key. I must have missed it. Yeah. So... <laughs> it's a little cloudy in there. No big deal, right? The old man... It's turning... Ghostly. It's <laughs> the, floor, the floor is just a little bit ashy. Okay, alright. So at this point... We got Pyramid Fairy. We've got Turtle Rock. We uh, Feeny still hasn't done the Ice Rod Cave. Yeah, Ice Rod Cave. Uh, I don't think she. I mean, she doesn't. Know, we know bears side of the pyramid, which won't help out. Um, I don't recall Bumper Cave actually. Uh, maybe I missed it. That's like a very easy check if they omitted it. Just a quick little glimpse. I know that we did see the graveyard ledge, but I don't recall about the bumper cave. Yep, it looks like we're going to head up and find out right now. No wonder I don't remember it. So let's find out. Could it was just be sitting here just chilling? Nope. Just a bottle. Oh, and also, I think um, Pooh Bear emptied his bottle, so mm -hmm. somebody can put another bee in there. <laughs> Where's the hammer to just break the bottle? That's what I'm talking about. Just shatter. Your bottle has been shattered. Wow. Well, what if he needs to take it to Sick Kid? Womp womp. Sick Kid gonna be out of luck. 
Oh man, I'm getting ideas as I'm watching this. Like, take the ball and just put it back into a random chest that has been opened or something. Oh boy, this is too good. All right, Phoenix still on that hunt for those fantastic flippers. Just a little 300 piece here. Yeah, still no flippers. They must be really flipping out. Oh my goodness. <laughs> the jokester! <laughs> All you care about is just to get your dog on flippers and turtle rock. I'll be I, I'll be happy if flippers are in Turtle Rock. And as, as, as she wants, preferably on the balls, on Trinex, just so we have to make another traveling stop over there to old boy. Sahashala. Sriracha sauce. Sasha Rahashala Hala. <laughs> Swap bottles for big 20s. Wow. <laughs> So here we go, making our way to the pyramid. Let's see if either of these chests can yield those fantastic flippers. Or maybe we'll we're doing a fantastic fail. And we have Grand Pooh Bear who's taking the chest on an epic adventure. Oh man, Chester, <laughs> having having a great day out. That view, though, from the pyramid is absolutely beautiful, so I agree with that pit stop. That lovely five-foot off-the-ground view. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alrighty. Will Feeny be happy with this choice? This won't do it either. I'm, I'm gonna say no. This is gonna be uh, not the first. Yeah, so there's her glance, so she hadn't done that yet. With Pooh doing the Aga early. Let's find out. Heart piece. And a blue rupee. Not the blue. I don't know what we're looking for. Nope. Womp, She's womp, running out womp, of options. Oh. oh boy, those joyous running randomized where you end up ex locations to find one pivotal item. And looks like we are headed to Turtle Rock. Oh joy. <laughs> so for for Sakura, obviously the far way it is, the more happy she is. Which also gives you all more time to help her. Or maybe hinder her. If you choose to do so at all. <laughs> Turtle Rock has, was it six items inside of it? So um, it's, it's yeah. generally fairly high. Grand Pooh Bear is quaking again, just just so that we make sure that Mr. Meyer is open. Yeah, I guess, well, I guess like five, but yeah, six, especially with um the green being here, so a lot of good stuff. Yep. Six plus green pendant, so. Yeah. Normally... Five plus six equals one. New math, y'all. Get to it. <laughs> Bloxmas! All right, so here we go. Venturing into yet another pendant dungeon. Looking for a key. I don't know that we need. Again, we're needing this so we can take care of Swamp. Here we go. So that moment of truth. Could even find it in the first chest. No, boo, that's too easy. Oh, and you were saying that I was being too trolly by <laughs> Look, I'm what I was saying from the beginning. I want trolliness. <laughs> I, I, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I want them, but I want them to have a taste of struggle taste to that of point struggle. of success. You know, just a little tasty taste. You know, like, like... Like a green pendant taste? No, like... 85 pounds of, of hot dog taste. Just a sufficient helping. Almost too much. That's what I want. It hot better dog? not be here, though. I, I don't know. I'm, I, I need to get hungry. <laughs> I just, I'm just hungry. This is a hot dog. I don't know. Every chat I've been in today has been talking about food. 
Everybody's hungry. All right, to the right side we go. Could be one here. I like the platform ice physics, though. For those of you who haven't seen this before, if you're on the platform and you have ice physics, you can actually walk off, which you can see Feeny struggling <laughs> to stay on the platform. Because if you press the directional button, it will actually walk you right off the platform. <laughs> that tickles me so much. <laughs> So, Ice Spell over. Using that cane there to prevent any of that stuff. Well, there's our big key. Actually, yeah. I think my favorite thing about uh, interactive races is the use, like, <laughs> how much that cane of Verna ends up being used. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That. You just can't trust the chat. You just can't trust the Twitch chat. <laughs> we love you, but you know, we are devious people. We like a little suffering, too. Can't keep it all nice and easy. There was the other item. The red rupee was actually right there. Yeah. So, not even dealing with this room. Change. We're gonna need to put the... There we go. Just slowly moving. <laughs> oh, that's oh, the wrong direction, Feeny. <laughs> that timing. Ice ends and here come inverted control. Fantastic. <laughs> wow, the timing. Oh, oh. No. That is ugh. What the I'm, fairy? That was quite a wallop. Oh man, can't take hits like that. You can't just be going around beating up old people. And, uh, trying to get that, <laughs> get that thing active. Oh, still not the flippers. We're going in deeper. Here we go. Okay, she's making sure that no ice physics. Last thing you want to do is walk down those stairs with ice physics. Yeah, that's not cool. Um, Who's still trying to get out of here? Yeah, I'm who needs a little bit, one more item still in this dungeon, which is just going to be the 300 rupees. Dude. Gotta check him, because he doesn't know. And, uh, they haven't found powder yet, so it's been fairly treacherous. They haven't been able to grab any extra fairies or anything like that. Yeah, thank goodness with the invincibility item, that's their, their main safety yeah, no password check as of yet. But most likely, um, it's not going to probably have anything we need since we have a crystal tied to ice and we need flippers. I'm sorry, a pendant tied to ice. Yes. Should I say? So, not going to be too much of an essential item there. So the deeper we go into Turtle Rock, we're going to be checking the Mimic Cave next. Hmm? Feeny's going to need a little bit more magic than that. Yeah, just, that's just a little bit. Hey, chat, this is your chance to help her out. Or well, maybe <laughs> just take care of all her magic altogether. So now that Grand Pooh Bear is... Uh, leaving Misery Mire, I think did, I don't think he beat the boss no he, left, he did not beat the boss he got that chest and he bounced so I'm uh, I'm not sure why maybe thinks it's a pendant yeah I don't I'm not sure if he even had well I'm pretty sure he checked I'm pretty sure we had a map check, but... Oh, he doesn't have the cane of Samaria. Yeah, he's he's caneless. So he can't finish it. Ah, I thought that was... I'm trying to remember where that was. I thought that was on Death Mountain somewhere. Yeah. Still 
Still no flippers for Feeny. Deeper in we go. Uh oh. The uh oh. Can we get in the hole here? <laughs> fun, fun. Hold the door. <laughs> No, no, Mr. Boston, did, did, did you have a hand in creating this? We get mighty close to try next year. I'm saying. I actually did not have any hand in creating this. <laughs> See? How are you? But I'll be very happy if we get to try next. But this is this is where uh, I'm thinking that the flippers might be. Nope. Oh, Mr. D. Uh, oh, so nice. Sending Phoenix. A little, little portion of magic. This little eyedropper's worth. So thoughtful. Ice or ice physics in this room is the worst. Yeah. Say, so Pooh is trying to figure out what's going on here. I'm trying to remember where the cane is. I thought it was on Death Mountain. Yeah, um, Pooh probably realizing he needs to be in Dark World here to get over it. And uh, his portal is down below. Hopefully he heads down through Spiral Cave, maybe? Yeah, I'm, tr I'm uh, trying uh -oh. to remember. Oh. Dead rocks. Alright, Laser Bridge, got two chests checked, still no flippers, still uh -oh. no flippers. We already have the key here. Oh no! And back to start we go. She does not want to have any depths here. That's what she. Oh, she just needs to get through. Yeah, she's going outside. Alrighty. Wow. There they are. You, <laughs> the <laughs> last <laughs> chest. <laughs> How many seas have people played where it was that chest all the way to the end? It's always like no matter where you go on Laser Bridge, it's always the last chest. You can start from the bottom, work your way up, or you can. I, I, I swear those chests like they pivot based on where you are standing. Like start here, <laughs> let's just rotate it 180 degrees and put it down there. See throughout my job. So, nevertheless, that will put Feeny in uh, go, 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 go mode because we have all we need to take care of our, of our Swamp Palace Crystal. Which will give her all seven and head up to Bowser. Bowser, not play too much Mario. <laughs> Bowser! <laughs> so how are we going to get Lost Levels running up here? We randomized so hard, guys. We randomized <laughs> a completely different game. We randomized the bosses completely. <laughs> <laughs> we got all kind of code injection going. <laughs> Leave me alone, okay? <laughs> Again, on, whatever. Oh, jeez. I'm trying to remember, like, where that cane is. Where... Pooh Bear needs to go, but I swear it was on Death Mountain, but I also swear that he did all of Death Mountain. Um, on the, on the, um, light work. I don't know, I hope he's, I hope he's getting his tracker, or um, if he's using one, to make sure. This is one of those times where you might have overlooked something, or, you know, worse yet, you marked something off that you thought you did, but you didn't. Yeah. Um... Wondering, our green paradox, King Dedede. Of course, we gotta have the Curry franchise too. <laughs> you know what, Modus? That is an incentive for placing the Ganon's tower key. Ooh. So it looks like people are saying it's Paradox Cave. <sighs> yeah, I I don't recall whether or not he's been there. No, I don't. I'm. I'm pretty sure that he. Had... Looks like he's going maybe back into Hyrule Castle. Yeah, it's trying to 
probably trying to retrace the steps here. He probably realized he missed something. May not be sure what he missed. Because uh, the first thing he did over here was, uh, I believe he did catfish for it. And then go to pod. He, went, he mirrored back up a little. Yeah, he did catfish and he didn't mirror to Zora. Did go to pod. Mm hmm. I don't think he did light side. I mean, I saw him do that. Light. Because he did go up into Hera, and I don't think he took care of the light world. So he's going to go take care of the bomb as well. Ah, boy. Yeah, that's not going to lead him to Canis Samaria, but it's going to knock off one more place that he's been. Mm -hmm. So... Quick, someone sent him a red cane! Oh, I can't do <laughs> that one. Nope. Only the sparkly cane. You know what? Oh man, that just gave me a great idea for something else now. Oh? What if they could have something that... Now this would be a little strange, a little odd to program, I guess, in this particular um, game, but what if they could put towards, hey, an item, like, say they're looking for a certain item, and they could choose, like, which item, and it would play, like, hot or cold, and it would kind of give them, like, an on-screen indicator when they got closer to it. That would be interesting. I mean, it's a programming nightmare, but I just come up with ideas, and I don't got time to it. <laughs> so let's get that stuff out. But, because uh, Pooh is desperately trying to find that red cane here. But uh, we are not in the right direction. Your your suggestions are a lot nicer than mine. I mean, my most recent suggestion was a minute of uh, cabbage. Just <laughs> randomly anywhere. Anywhere. Straight up cabbage attack. Yep. <laughs> cabbage attack. Oh my goodness. All right, so Feeny is on to number seven, done. Which means <laughs> it's time for not the Bowser clone, Ganon time. Time for those big key guesses. And if now is it, if this was a time that you were contemplating, kind of hmm, what should I do? This is the time you do it. Between now and the conclusion of the Ganon fight. If you want to make Finny have an easy time, or you want her to work up a sweat, it's the time to begin thinking about what you want to do. Well, everyone is off to a great start. She has no bombs and no arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Way to go, y'all. <laughs> Oh boy. So hopefully she doesn't need bombs or arrows. Yeah, good job, you all. Of course, one bad thing that we might see is that that big key could be sitting on that torch. And that opens up a whole nother issue. Yep. Then all of a sudden, like you said, we might have to deal with those pendants. It could be sitting on... I mean, the boost could totally be sitting on the... On the pedestal. Yeah, the boot sitting on the pedestal would probably be their biggest nightmare. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I hope it happens. <laughs> and Grand Pooh Bear, unfortunately, has hopped into Ice Palace. Yeah. Maybe he'll find boots. Wouldn't that be something right now if he found the boots and... Oh my goodness, could you imagine? Oh my goodness. <laughs> so Pooh probably forgot. Again, he has not been to the um, Light World Death Mountain area. So he probably is thinking that he, maybe he's thinking he's done it already. And maybe he needs to go here. But unfortunately, he's not going to find really anything. He might find him up a little but that's probably it at best. 
All right, here we go. We're now entering Ganon's Tower. Oh, great. Someone took a bomb from her. Now she has negative <laughs> Good job. Wow. They, boy, if they could actually have negatives. Oh, my. No, we fixed that, like, the very, very first bit, right? <laughs> oh, why'd you fix that? That's fantastic. Oh. Because when it rolls over, it's not so fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I can only imagine. Oh, no. no. Oh. <laughs> Just oh. two. However... She does not have any arrows. We gotta go get a key first, and we have oh boy. Well now there's arrow. Well, somebody is helping out. I feel an oncoming attack on Feeny or anyone for that matter that gets to Ganon's time. Because they have a heck of a climb here and certain moves are not fun. So here we go. The climb begins. Get up to Aga too. She's using one of her arrows right off the bat. She's only those, got four. Those are precious commodities right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ice spell in it. Ice spell began. Fantastic. Poor Thank Pooh Bear is stuck in the corner. <laughs> there we yeah, go. Yeah, oh boy. Everybody gets ice physics. Vinny. Limiting her movement here. Uh oh, okay. Oh, oh no, that was her no! last. <laughs> hey man, Jack and her last arrow. <gasps> oh, you so now can she's. See her. So, uh, oh boy. So now she's gonna have to wait for someone to drop her an arrow. If no one dies, she's gonna have to roll it back. She's gonna have to mirror out. <laughs> Somebody sends five bombs instead. Great. <laughs> Um, <laughs> the chat is too busy laughing right now. Oh my goodness. And inverting your controls. There oh. we go, an arrow. All right. And they're gone. And they're back. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? <laughs> the, she has them back now. She has six. But she can't hit the guy because she has to, like. Oh, oh. no. Quickly you have before to she loses them. Hit. You have to oh, boy, I took an arrow. Oh, oh, no! <laughs> no! You missed! <laughs> no! Oh, she's bankrupt with arrows. Why somebody said one? Quick, Feeny! <laughs> and now she has two hearts! Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Inverted controls, trying to control <laughs> this knucklehead. <laughs> For heaven's <laughs> sake. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Release the beast! They went with 25 arrows. Don't miss. And they took him. And John took him away. Oh, now she, now she used the beast. So she can't use the <laughs> Feeny was given 25 arrows. Immediately had them taken away. Bees just bodied old. That. Wow. Okay, she had- OH SHE GOT IT! OH SHE GOT IT! Did you see that? Oh my goodness, barely got it off. <laughs> oh no, Invert- <laughs> Inverted control. Wow. Oh, she- They lost her fairy! Oh no! That, you know the bad part is, that was just a second room with the climb. That, that was just room two. And then we got a- <laughs> Oh my lordy. Oh my god, this is so the, if if you have seen a previous one of these, this is where it just gets crazy. This is the real game right here, I swear. Getting up to the top of Ganon's Tower in one piece. Oh boy. Officially Ganon Towers trolling. Ganon's Troll Tower, right? Yeah, no kidding. Oh my goodness. This is there going go. much better. Much better for Feeny, though. Yes. People are too busy oh. laughing their faces off right now. Uh-oh. Girl. Oh. And Tormentos make sure of it. Well, there's... If she... If she knows... Yeah, she knows. Yeah, that five. Better get them off before she loses them. 
Nice oh, shot, though. But that health, though, we were down to two hearts again. Another bonus two arrows. And she notices that she has, she's she's basically pinging the wall. Help, help, give me bottles. The <laughs> bottles are bare. Yeah, you can fill, you can fill the bottle. Give <laughs> some like, bees. She's like, yo, I got three <laughs> bottles. Help a, help a sister out, should I say. She's gotta oh, be careful, boy. though. Yeah, we gotta get past these. Uh oh, 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 no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh my god! Back down to the bottom of the tower with you. Oh my goodness! I'm telling you, this is like the game of like, what is it? Like shoot some ladders. Like you hit spot 99 and hit the slide and slide all the way back down. To just the struggle. As long as she doesn't get one hit KO mode. She'll be okay. Um, because... <laughs> That's the last can... thing we need now. Especially with this spike room. Ugh. Like, it's darn near impossible to get through here without taking one bit of damage. And we're back in the Mimic room with no arrows. It, oh, wow. <laughs> this is just brutal. And everyone just keeps taking arrows <laughs> instead of giving. Who is who is still trying to figure out wow uh wow wow and then a death spell fantastic just to make it even worse. <laughs> so let's see Pooh is trying to figure out where he needs to go. Again, he he probably has forgotten what he needs to get done. Of course his biggest thing right now is that he needs to get back up to Death Mountain. Yep, he needs to get into Paradox Cave. Yep. What could we send him that would suggest Paradox Cave, though? A text message? <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> what is something that's not that? <laughs> Hold on, I get on my phone. Let me go hit him up. Boo! <laughs> You're messing up, man. Oh, boy. <laughs> Send him bees in a certain letter formation. <laughs> Have him team up to spell the word Death Mountain to him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> People are taking and sending. Oh, and she gets yeah. a five arrow thing right there. Perfect. She is literally just mashing to hope she gets that shot off while she has a count of a... <laughs> oh. Oh, and she's gonna pull out that that net and realizes. Oh, she's got an empty one. She had a blue potion. Yes. <laughs> I wonder if she realized she had that. Or the thing is, no one may have sent it to her. Because before she checked, that she had nothing. Well, at least she has some health for now. And out goes the bee. She's emptying uh, the bottle again. All right, we can get out here and get to uh, get to room four. Now, here's the thing. Normally, you're able to get a nice little fairy refill, but because they don't have the boots, there's gonna be no fairy refill. Oh, boy. Okay, I guess they could, like, bomb jump it across. You could. A little odd, a little odd but... <laughs> quick, before you have bombs withdraw. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Just gonna keep on going. So, Pumayar is checking out the Lumberjack Cave seeing the item here on uh, on the ledge. I think I hope he's not trying to flute right now. <laughs> I'm guilty. I've done it myself. Something ain't working. Feeny making some progress now. Chat not being too lethal. Whoop, never mind. Death spell is active, so she has to be careful. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is the time to think about using those safety items. Yep. She's definitely got to be careful. Oh my god! This, this... Oh, inverted controls! Oh Have boy. Have mercy. Oh! Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Man, she got hit so quick, I didn't even see the laser. Thankfully, that fairy that she picked up a few rooms back. Inverted Get controls, too. Oh my goodness, the offerings are still lasting. 
She needs to use that cane. There you go. All right. Now she can breathe for a few seconds. We got everyone taking away bombs. <laughs> oh boy. And alright, one hit KO. Turn off for now. If she's getting arrow jacked. Out of bombs again. Pooh still trying to figure out what he needs to do here. Don't mirror, Feeny. <laughs> oh goodness. I have to make a conscious ever to take that off my inventory breaks in the <laughs> All of the Lanmo spawned at the same time because she spent a lot of extra time in that one room. That's and oh, oh! no arrows. <laughs> Man, that dog on John Kimball. <laughs> trying to make sure this stream goes on for a while. Grand Pooh Bear is on the hunt. Still not going back to Misery Mire because no Cain. Um, not able to go into Swamp Palace because no flippers. We know that flippers are in Turtle Rock, which means still needs the cane in order to get those. So... I don't know if that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> Man, he's, he's... Again, I think he may be a little closer. He knows he those. He needs to find that cane. And he knows, I'm sure he knows he needs to find those flippers. Like, he just realized that he didn't have flippers. It takes a dive in. So, then they still cleaning. Yeah, this is one of those times where, amidst of randomizing itself, you know, easy to over location, but we have all this going on at the same exact time. You know, even more in your mind. And he's just got to remember to go up. Let's see if he goes to one. And he is going. Ooh, he's going to go to desert. Going to desert. Yeah. We've already finished desert. But he's just double checking. Yeah, that's kind of what you have to do. If you can't remember, sometimes you physically go over there if you don't remember actually visiting. Somebody sent a large magic to Feeny. Oh. So pick that up. But this uh this ma <laughs> room is gonna be a little bit rough with ice physics. <laughs> yeah, oh boy. I Quick use dense fire. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright, we got through. So grabbing Ooh, she's gotta be boy. a little careful. Oh boy, we are pushing that health. Yep. I'm gonna burn the berry Kool Aid there. Can't really blame her on that one. She needs one more key. There it is. <laughs> Dropping the bomb before anyone is able to take it. Yep, so Ice Bell being the popular choice here. At ice on a conveyor belt? Ugh. <laughs> Jeez. And her arrows are being depleted. And she's <laughs> spamming the item that Pooh is desperately looking for right now. Yep. Her showing her frustration with everything that's happened now is going to, uh. Oh! Oh, no! oh the. <laughs> Literally, it just that... turned on like not even a second ago. Oh my goodness. And how quickly we fall back to the beginning. Oh my goodness. Back to the beginning. No potions, no fairies, no bombs, no arrows. <laughs> That's what happens when you goof around. <laughs> Have mercy. I'm not sure if she was waiting for another effect to wear off or not, but this is this is a challenge as as the player. You know, you know these things can happen, but you have to be able to just keep going because it's just going to happen in these interactive races. Yep. You know, the average Twitch <laughs> user wants suffering. 
and a reason to use all those lol emotes and what. So we have to, we have to make our players work a little bit to make that happen. But we will have a victor, I promise you. Mm, you know. So Pooh is going back through the escape. So <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a little unfortunate. Phoenix having the having the arrow withdrawal here again. And of course <laughs> Pooh is still trying to figure out where he needs to get this missing item pair he's looking for. Fortunately, we have to go further north to get that done. <laughs> the noise. She's just hoping to get. A... I'm about to send her an arrow, dog. On it, can I? Can I legally send her an arrow? You can. Well, I'm sh in the mail. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> like in the interactive races, yeah. <laughs> I feel like if I send her error, I have to send both the same thing. It'd be unfair. Well, he's got 60 arrows. Let me see, let's see. Withdrawal from Pooh to Fee, <laughs> one arrow. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, she has 27 arrows. Oh man, we had 20, 25. Yeah, she he's got to figure it out on his own here. Where get get to? He this is the thing with randomizer is when situations like this happen, you will never ever forget again. You it will be like the first place you go. Like I ain't missing this again. <laughs> yep. Because so I uh, here we totally go. We missed that. Got the flute. Now we're gonna head up Death Mountain. Here we go. Yes. Yep. This is the moment. Right here. Nope. Wrong way. No. No. <laughs> ruined. No. Darn it. <laughs> uh, double check the old man. Make his way from left to right. Yep. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Getting back out. Making the path to the right. Feeny trying to make progress here to these this trio of rooms. I really don't like this particular three rooms here. These conveyor belts, the ice, and ooh, ooh, that full magic would be nice. But she's not gonna waste her time trying to walk back to it. <laughs> I don't, I don't know where Grand Blue Bear is going, but I think he's going the right way now. Yeah, he's headed over. Okay, okay, here all we right. Go, here we go. Yep, hopefully he does not go into the dark world. Yeah. This is what he needs. I'm really scared if I was playing as Phoenix, because right now, one hit KO could turn on any given time. Like I would I would probably be using my cane or my, or my kick pretty heavily. Well, she does have the fairy. She does have the fairy, so <gasps> here we go. Grand Pooh Bear heading into Paradox Cave. This oh, is it. baby. We're gonna get the cane! The revelation will soon happen. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, he sees the door. It's not open. He's like, you know, I don't know. I, you know, I know Pooh, known for years, and I'm pretty sure what he may be thinking may not be too family. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Definitely not PBS material. So he's gonna soon probably be quite happy once he picks up his red cane. And there she are. And oh, Phoenix, oh, but she no. does have that fairy. Yeah, but we're gonna need to keep her nicely stocked up with fairies in case one hit KO happens. Yes. So Pooh has this item, so now he can take care of. And of course. He's quite a ways behind though, because he, he still needs to he still gonna get the turtle rock. You know, in order to get the flippers, which we know are way deep into that for those who missed it. It's at the very end of Laser Bridge. Alright, here we go, Feeny. Time to light some torches. Oh god, the chat is Oh no! <laughs> for the controls, ew. In this Watch room, this yuck. J 
joyous. I'm saying anybody could win. I could win. No, I can't win. Hey, you never know. That's the thing about bit races is it's literally anybody's race. Yeah, it was interesting because this race, you know, a lot of people really kind of put was getting the, the, really the bad end of the stick pretty early on. Then as Feeny began making the progress, all of a sudden the chat turned against her and just <laughs> said, here, have some inverted ice, no arrow controls. And just <laughs> and here we are just sitting, waiting for the inverted controls to end of this narrow walkway here. Yep, she she is not having any of it. She's like, nope, I am not doing inverted controls right now not on this bridge it is rough um yeah. it is rough to do that on here um yes jay was this is they are playing the exact same seed they have the exact same seed so wherever they find something is where it finds something however you all can contribute to them in unique ways so you all can send someone some red potions for one of those bottles or maybe the refresh where it gives them full health and magic infinite magic pretty good too oh yeah oh nice we crowdfunded a fairy and ice <laughs> <clears throat> you're just so kind but we've been here before so Feeny's like, yeah, you know what's not happening? That I'm not going for those again. <laughs> nope. <clears throat> Straight to Moldorven. On oh. ice, and that is, yeah, basically what's going to happen. <clears throat> man, oh man. Let's try it again. <clears throat> I, I see a lot of funding happening for one hit knockout. Yep. She's gonna have to be careful, but she's got the fairy, so even if that happens... <clears throat> oh, boy. Whew, there we go. Nicely done. Yep. Um, no, you can't actually give them a... You can't give them a go momentum. There is something in upgrade. They can remember to shield the sword, but as far as, like, a item... Uh, that's about it. I mean, you can give them the cane, but that's not the what they let them. Yeah, burn. you can give them an invincibility item and the bug net. Yeah. But I think they both have the bug net and the cane of Berna. Yeah, so, so much for that. So we have Grand Pooh Bear, who is now heading to his second last boss here. Beanie, or second last dungeon boss, um, I guess. Feeny, who is going into the Ega 2 fight, gets a nice little setup. Oh no. Chat's being very nice here, too. Oh, they're waiting for the attack. Waiting oh, for baby, Ganon. look at that fish. That double. We got the Ganon fight coming up here. So. Of <laughs> a nice taste of inverted control. Inverted controls, and uh, you know what else is a great thing for Ganon? Ice physics. <clears throat> you heard it. <laughs> Ice physics is really fun. I can't force anyone to do anything, but if you want a unique experience, ugh. Ooh, <laughs> clutching out Vitreous here. So here we go to the Ganon fight. <laughs> the chest unloaded it all. <laughs> and, oh my! Oh no. oh no! Well, you don't have to worry about that because I think she did it on her own, unfortunately. <laughs> oh, Grand Pooh Bear saying I am dumb. Oh boy. <laughs> Poor Pooh. So funny going. Re oh goodness! Oh goodness! Oh, arrows. No. <laughs> arrows are all going. Inverted control still. Have mercy. Where's the mice physics at? <laughs> oh boy. <clears throat> well, one hit knockout is off. That's nice. Of 
course, if it's on that health count, what even matter? I think she's looking at her options here and going, huh? No uh -oh. arrows. Oh my goodness! Oh, the death spell! Oh, that's close. Man, that was unbelievably close, man. And the rough part is when there's so many actions going on during the Ganon fight, you, there is some of them you don't see. Yes. Man, oh man. So at least right. getting rid of controls off. That's the blessing. For yeah. now. Still got uh, one hit KO on. Oh, oh nice. boy. Stop sending a bottled fairy. So she has no, um, well, she has one arrow now. Nope. But she <laughs> had it. John no, said nope. Ice is on. Oh, my. There is the ice. Oh, yeah. Oh, boy. The holly season is back. Ice dancing with our swords on Ganon. One hit is back <laughs> off again. And, oh, oh. Oh my! Well, that was an excellent save by Feeny. Hanging on by a toenail right there. Feeny is surviving the assault by our lovely chat. Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, oh, oh boy! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh, oh, she's got three arrows. She's just got a. The problem is, is with ice physics, it's darn near impossible to get to Ganon at a reasonable time. You know? 25 arrows. She has to be get, taking a, a, attention to what she's getting if she even can use them. Oh, goodness, these bats. <laughs> oh, no! no! The, oh, the death. The fairy, the fairy, the fairy. We got it. I'm telling you, another near frame perfect death spell delivery. So thankfully that fairy is saving her. <laughs> she just missed the arrow. Oh boy, but she's got a ton of arrows now. Oh no! Oh, no. Does she that? have another one? Hopefully, yeah, but she's got another one. She's blowing her up with fairies. She's Look at these berries doing these fairies on these bottles. It is he never Oh, oh my no. goodness. Oh, my the three God. piece. And this time we have That's no it. fairy. <laughs> oh, no. oh my gosh. <sighs> well, she needs some fairies. The assault. And, yeah, she needs some fairies. She needs some magic. And some. She's got the arrows. Have mercy. I believe. Oh. There we go. Kind of gives Pooh a chance to kind of wander through here. Thankfully, she has a, a maxed out sword, or at least a, do a little something. I think she needs one more hit, maybe, to get him to move to the next base. Yeah. Oh, she's got to stand. Oh, God, right inside of again. Unfortunately, one hit knockout on again. We got Grand Pooh Bear, who's making his way through Turtle Rock here. And he's making some pretty good progress while Feeny's having uh, this Ganon fight of the century here. <laughs> oh my goodness, did you see that bat flame? Oh my goodness. Ooh, that bat! Oh my goodness, I didn't think she was going to get a hook Oh! Oh no! Does she have another fairy? We are nope. still fairyless. Man, oh man. It's okay. It just takes the one time. Mm-hmm. So here we go. Death spell has ended. Thanks. Oh. Wow, how close was that? And <laughs> no ice physics either. So still no nothing in the bottles. You can see Feeny uh making uh <laughs> She's saying uh, some minuing sign language here. I, I think she's going to be talking to her chat later, and she's going to be like, Yo, chat, where was them fairies at? 
Oh, oh no. no. I mean, I'm seeing a plethora of Phoenix in here. Come on now. You ain't got your girls back? What's up with that? They're showing showing her their true colors. Eh? Now, we love you and all, but I want to be entertained right now. All right. So here we go. <laughs> She's a little bit too high. She might get hit in the face with a fire bat. There we go. She's just got to oh. be careful. Oh, oh. And... All right, Boy. this is... She's getting set up for the hit. Oh, it got a fairy in back up. This gives a real VIP. We got Grand Pooh Bear who's heading into the Mimic Cave. Not too far away from his flippers now. Yep. Look at these hits here. Uh oh. She's gotta be careful. She's too close. Well, now she has two fairies, actually. She got two fairies sent to her. Oh, this is gonna be a nice double. Oh, it definitely was. No torch glitch, unfortunately. Oh, another another hit off on Ganon. Just one more necessary. Yeah. And here and it is. Dragon Feeny has survived. Of the interactive Leap the Pass randomizer, our victory, our championess. Well done, GG to Dragon Fiend. That was quite the battle at the end. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Fiend's going to have a word with some of y'all loyal uh, followers and subscribers of her channel. I'm just going to warn you. Man, oh man. So two hours, just under two and a half hours. Amongst that pretty doggone good, I must say. Yeah, that was that was definitely an exciting race. Goodness gracious. Yeah, it ended up losing a lot of ground just so not having that red cane. Of course, now he's going to get the last thing he really needs, which is that, those flippers. Oh, boy. So we'll probably see if we can get a little, a little, uh, a little chit-chat in with Feeny, possibly. Yeah, we're going to, we're going to have to make it pretty quick because I think we're running a little bit over time here. Yeah. And you have no one to blame except the chat. <laughs> For the spam at the beginning? Oh, oh my oh goodness my gracious. Yeah. Um, but again, congrats to, to uh, Feeny and of course Pooh. Um, you know, Pooh's, a, Pooh's kind of a newer player to randomize learning uh no major glitches and uh he's been kind of you know new and new kids on the block you know he's he's participating in the brando tournament going on right now so uh uh give him a little shout out for that again typically for a lot of new players even the old players you know just sometimes you forget an item location and when it's that when it's an essential thing you need like like when he was need that red cane you just cannot recover from it but uh we're going to give our our winner, the lovely Dragon Feeny. How are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm, what else are you doing? Fantastic, based on that. <laughs> nice oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm so glad it's over. <laughs> that Ganon Tower climb. Oh, oh my God. My goodness. I, I feel like as a player... That must be the one thing you become the most concerned about. It's like, okay, I got all the crystals and now the gauntlet to get up that tower and the fight. Like, that has to be the most scariest thing knowing how the chat is going to probably well, not take care of you in your time of need. It is called a gauntlet for a reason. Um, 
But I don't think it's chat sabotage reasoning. So... <laughs> <sighs> oh, boy. I definitely saw those uh, bottle hints. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody did get it. Somebody got my hint. So thank you, whoever that was that sent me that fairy in a bottle. Sorry, it was a little late, but thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, but... it was it was pretty fun to watch. Uh, your opponent, Grand Pooh Bear, unfortunately had a little bit of an issue where he forgot about Paradox Cave, which oh, was no. where um, Kana which Samaria was where was the Cane of Samaria was. Yes. Oh no! So Ooh, we've been over this. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that yeah. one that one key item there. That and of course, you know, obviously everybody was looking for the flip one point, you know. And of course, a certain commentator who I will not mention the name of I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Hope I could be as deep inside of Turtle Rock as possible. It was pushing Just it. Just about. Yeah. Oh my could have been, it could have been slightly worse. Could have been on Trinex, but last chest and laser bridge kind of takes the cake on that. Yeah, and once you had that, I mean, it was, it was, I guess you want to call it smooth selling. Oh, boy. And you know what? It was really good to find that the big key was in chess, too, just very quickly. Yes. You know. Yes. I was grateful that I didn't have to go through the whole basement of Ganon's Tower to try and find it. But yeah. I probably would have had a few trips through there, too. Definitely. Oh, the joy. But did you enjoy yourself overall? I, mean, but, I well, did. I did. Um, no, you don't have to just say that. You can be honest. You know what? <laughs> Bump you. Okay, people. okay. Fine. You got it. Two parts that stuck out, or stood out, rather, uh, were Palace of Darkness. Thank you for that one hit KO on Trinex. Or, uh, I can't even talk. My brain's mush on Helmosaur. And definitely that GT climb three times. Those were those were rough. So whoever did those one hit KOs up there, you're banned. <laughs> <laughs> Told you. Yeah, you know what? It was funny because I said I said Beanie's gonna have a talk with her chat after this. Like, where were you guys? Like, what's going on? <laughs> Come on, you guys! I thought I thought we had something. We had a deal. And she goes back and watches if she played with chat and she sees her subs and her followers just trolling her, turning on that one hit knockout. She's going to get you. They betrayed me. I I thought what we had was special. Ah, boy. Oh, my goodness. Even I want to know where boots are. I'm actually curious now. That's that's something I'd love to know myself. Um, They're either... I don't know if Pooh's checked Catfish. Yeah, Catfish um, was checked. Uh, wasn't there. Um, I don't know how many items were gotten. Did we get all five items in Turtle Rock? Because, I mean, they could have been sitting on Trinex. Oh, there may have been one left on Trinex. Um, or Sriracha Sauce. Yeah. Or at Pedestal. I didn't yeah. see what the Pedestal item was. Yeah, no no one is at a Pedestal. <laughs> no. <laughs> Pooh Bear. <laughs> Oh guys, man! I mean, I had like I made what like such this? a mental tracking error, and I thought I I don't know why, but I thought I checked light and dark Death Mountain at one time, and I yes. obviously didn't. You did not check it, man. <laughs> I did I not, like... and then I just was like, then I just spent like forever. Like, shout out to my chat because I'm sure they had to like really hit Feeny with something hard that she was that late. Like, oh, oh, oh yeah, she was getting um, fortunately not. Well taken care of in Ganon Tower. Oh my god, That's I feel true. I felt so once I realized what I did, I felt so dumb. <laughs> like just so dumb. Yeah. You and know, that, it happens to the best of us. Oh yeah. That's the thing. Track. Once yeah. you mess up once, you'll never forget it again. You will I never, never, do, yeah, ever never do it again. Isn't that what we're saying in the stream one day? It's like in order to learn, you have to mess up. Yep. That, that, that's kind of how it is. And like, this is, I'm still like, I haven't even done 10 of these. This is my ninth seed that I've ever done. It was my first open seed, too. So, like, I made some mistakes right at the beginning of like not going to Zelda. But even that, like, it was just, it was all checking Death Mountain. Like, once I got the cane, I, I knew everything that I needed to do. 
Like I was, I thought I was rolling there for a little bit, and then I was just like cane and flippers. And I yeah, they so were kind of bodying you at the beginning, and then they kind of shifted their attack over to Feeney to yeah, shout out to her for yeah. a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that was so much fun. I want to do this like every day. That was so much. Fun. <laughs> it like, really way, is. Yeah, like the interaction and everything, like the way things just like change on the fly like I, every time like my the little thing would go off i was like i got real excited because i didn't know what was happening and i like i didn't realize the one hit ko's were coming in at first and then like all of a sudden you're on, in ice for no reason like that's yeah. that's so much fun that's what that's why i usually play a lot of open season myself that way i'm not kind of spoiled by having like you know a possible guaranteed sword early that way i can kind of force it kind of forces you to look more lo- locations at times as well as kind of think of new strats on how to traverse through the game when yeah. you don't have that sword freedom always, you know? Yeah, I I just need to, uh, man, I just, I feel so stupid. Yeah, I even thought to myself, like, oh, that was a great job checking light and dark world, Death Mountain all at one time. Good job, Pooh. Like, I thought that to myself at the beginning of the race, and I didn't do it. And I yeah, feel- you thought wrong. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it was so dumb. That's well, good. it was a great race for both of you guys, and, <laughs> so you know, it was fun. amazing to commentate. I think that everyone really enjoyed it. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I'm really sorry about your um, Gaddis <laughs> Tower climb, Feeny. I have nothing to do with that. How bad did they make it on her? <laughs> Let's just say, no arrows, ice physics, trolls, oh, one hit knockout. There was one time where I, I, I made it to Moldorm 2 and then one hit KO was on. I wasn't quite at Moldorm 2, but like the room before, one hit KO was on and I got wrecked. Yep. Just right right. before Moldor, right back off to the beginning of the dungeon. So, <laughs> so it was, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty awesome to be involved with. Um, I know that you guys did a fantastic job, and uh, we're gonna, we're gonna have to wrap this up because there's an NMG race that we're holding up. But uh, <laughs> NMG, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you guys both again so much for. Uh, racing super appreciated thank you to Ninban our tracker wouldn't be able to do this without you and of course my co-commentator Big John honestly uh, it's been a blast I had a lot of fun yeah this is fantastic so I can't wait for the next one you all it's gonna be one of the best things on this all, all those big old time you know Hearthstone they don't know the good stuff when they see it like this you know it's just an unpredictable array of funness it's real it's so good and there so we're looking to do this about i think it's about every two weeks on speed gaming so next one is going to be about two weeks from now and it's going to be myself versus <laughs> big john so what what, what is this <laughs> me what <laughs> can i fiend commentate that i oh, think do you want to great idea oh my god roll yes. reversal yay <laughs> that'll be perfect so it'll be great um yeah we're gonna but thank you guys so much again for the race is fantastic thank you chat uh for all your amazing support couldn't do this without you and i will see you guys in the next one